Hi everybody, welcome back. <laughs> can I tell you something? I just opened my Sims game. <sighs> Not that you can tell. Wait, game capture, The Sims 4. There we go. I opened my Sims game. Sim Guru Ninja Jump Scare. <laughs> they've got they've got a Sim self of Ninja as the featured like gallery thing <laughs> from 2020 as well. Anyway, hi everybody, welcome back. <laughs> We're gonna play the Not So Very Challenge today, uh, which should be kind of fun. So that is what I am looking forward to this evening. The other thing is that um, it's like absolutely pouring down rain. Um, there's a pretty bad storm headed our way tonight in Florida. They keep calling it like a tropical storm, except it's December. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it seems dark in here. It's because it is. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hi everybody, welcome back. Let me load into my not so very safe um, so that we're uh, good to go. <laughs> How many Stanleys do I have? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Duda and Scully and Mora and KK and Valid and Faye and Mura and Hylian and Daphne and Elsa and Sam. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, you have a new photo? Yeah, I changed my profile picture a couple days ago, earlier this week. Um, I guess I was at the police station, so we'll go there first, yeah? Okay, and then I'll catch you all up to speed on what we're doing in this save and stuff. Um, I'm quickly just trying to look and see to make sure I got all my advent calendar stuff good to go. So we'll be able to open these in a minute as well. All right, moving into townhomes. No, that's actually my other legacy challenge. That's the one that I play with on my YouTube channel. Um, this one we, we don't have a townhouse for. Um, we might do something kind of cool and big for the next house for these Sims, um, but we uh, don't really need one just yet. So, oh God. And we're gonna have a baby. I don't remember that. <laughs> this is new to me. <laughs> okay, well, well, let's talk. So this is my not so very challenge sim. Uh, her name is Princess Potts, but like Princess Peach. She's the Peach generation of not so very. And not so very, each generation is a different color theme. Um, and so uh, she, Princess, has like some kind of specific rules for what she has to do with her life. Uh, one of them involves being a police officer, I know. I know, <laughs> um, but it's an interesting career, I guess. I'm already kind of bored of it, but we have to finish it. So we're committing. We're level six though, which is pretty good. Um, she does have a husband. His name is Lincoln. Ooh, and he's shirtless, apparently. Um, he's a secret agent. They met at work. Uh, her mom's name is Barbie. She lives here too. Barbie is gonna die probably, but not just yet. Uh, and then they have two kids together so far. The first one is called Moss. We think Moss is gonna be the heir. The next one's called Algae. Um, you might be sensing a theme here, and it's that they're the green generation. <laughs> um, and then uh, the, the, the mom is from the pink generation. So again, each one's a different color scheme. Uh, and then we're pregnant with a third kid right now at this very moment, and we're gonna give birth any second. And yet for some reason I'm at work, so. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking coming here today, but <laughs> it's fine. We'll commit, we'll solve a case or something. Um, also, uh, you might notice pulp. I can't show you. Oh, pet missing. Dear God, that's horrible. Okay, <laughs> we'll handle that when we get home. <laughs> we'll handle it when we get home. You wanna call the baby slime? Okay, that's an interesting idea. We'll think about it. Anyway, um, pulp, pulp is a sort of a star immortal dog that we've been playing with for a while and that's the whole household. Also, I have a horse, but the horse has been stressing me out. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, Morgan and Simsy and Emily and Brooklyn and Gecko and, and Shook and Basic Married Lady and Dahlia and Maureen and Kate and Coriander and Simmer and Coney and Philan and Fee and Roxy and Orbit and Taylor and Mo and Millie and Fabricated and Jennifer and, and Marissa with the bits. You're going to a pickle restaurant tonight for a birthday party? I've never heard of a thing. Can you honest, can you send us pictures in the mods chat later, Marissa? I gotta know, can you like send us the menu? <laughs> we need to know, this is like really important stuff. You can't just drop that and then not give us more information. <laughs> also Madeline and Wagman and Lex and Jenna and Scully and, and Mara and KK and Valid and Faye and, and Hylian and, and, uh, and Mara and Valid and KK, thank you all for the subs, right buddy. Okay, shall we open 
the advent calendars. Oh, you put the website in mods already? Okay, I didn't see. I'll have to go back and look. I was um, wrapping Christmas presents before I went live for a bit today. Um, a little bit delayed by the kittens because turns out they really like wrapping paper. I knew they would because they like they they like to like rip things apart. <laughs> um, the, oh, okay. <laughs> hit myself with that. They like to rip things apart. They they sort of shred stuff at times. So I'm not surprised. But at one point, I like had cut out a piece of wrapping paper that I was going to use and it was sitting on the floor. Sunny comes bounding in, picks it up in her mouth. It's like a big piece of wrapping paper that I had cut out. And she flies away, like jumps and flies with it in her mouth to try and take it away. She stole my little gift tags multiple times and dragged them into my bedroom. Um, and I'm gonna show you an image right now of, of her and the gift tags, just so you can kind of get a picture of what, what's been going on. Um, and then I'll open my advent calendars. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so these were on the table. As you can see, they're sort of strewn across the floor. So is the pen. Mischievous little grin on this thing. <laughs> now, I wonder what happened to this. Who could be to blame? <laughs> she signed it. Anyway, I keep joking about how she's like the Grinch. She stole Christmas. <laughs> So, um, usually it's shrimp who, who, uh, messes with things and causes bite marks on stuff, but it's Sunny's in her, uh, Grinch era, apparently. So, <laughs> anyway, um, those are, those are my cats. Merry Christmas, I guess. So we'll see how this goes with the presents. I don't, I feel like you can't leave them underneath a tree because who knows what'll happen. Okay. So let's open the advent calendars. Um, this is my Lego advent calendar. We've had a couple really solid days in a row. Yesterday, this looks kind of weird, but it's like a little cat on what we think is a cat tree. Before that, there was like a person and she has a cat treat. So we've got a couple of interesting Legos in the advent calendar. So I have high hopes for today. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm excited. What's today? The 16th? Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not so good at finding these sometimes. Oh, I pushed it in. Here we go. Ready? It's a grandfather clock. Wait, that's kind of cool. Oh, wait, I like that. That's one of my favorite ones we've gotten this whole time. That might be my favorite one we've gotten this whole time. That's really cool. Oh, when I was a kid, I would have loved that. <laughs> when I was a kid making like, I, I would like, we talked about this the other day, but I, I would make like little doll houses sort of out of like shoe boxes and paper. And when I was a kid, I would have just died for this. Oh, I dropped one in there. Cause I would have put it in my little fake doll house. And I would have been really happy about it. Okay, I'm gonna try and put this together. We'll see what we can do. Um. They have some kind of interesting pieces. Here's what we're doing so far. Looks like this. And then I put this thing on there. So far it's like a little sandwich. And then I get these things on there. This is so cool. Look at this. I really like this little piece. Come on. Okay, it doesn't want to show you the little piece. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And then you put that like on the front. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing. I can't film this very easily because of my, because of how this works. Um, I don't understand how some of these go together. If I'm being honest, there's some pieces that don't really make sense to me. Oh, look, okay. So you put this, this is like the clock hand and we're gonna put that in the middle, in there. 
so it can like chime. See? I think I need to put it. Was it supposed to go to the top or? No, that goes in the right place. Okay. Anyway, so it can like swing. But it won't swing because it's Legos. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing we need is a hat. And then it has two little pieces on top as well, so it makes it look rounded. Look! That's so cool! I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you to my Lego advent calendar. This just made my day. That's like the coolest one we've gotten so far. Some of them were kind of random. I can show you a couple of the other ones just so you have an idea. This was supposed to be an ice sculpture. So they claimed. Like, I don't know, flop. Um, at one point we also got, look at this, a hockey goal. You know? But this, beautiful, stunning, amazing. I'm obsessed. <laughs> okay, okay, that, that was our Legos for today. Let's open the mini brands. We're on a, we're on a roll right now, so. <laughs> Day 16. I'm not doing a good job finding them. It's over here. I was like, is there even a day 16? There is, it's right there. Come on. No, it's not a bench, it's a goal. We saw the pictures of how it was supposed to be used. It's a, it's a hockey goal. Sunny D, my cat's name is Sunny. I was just talking about how chaotic she is. Look. Sunny D, Tangy Original, 100% Vitamin C. Sunny! <laughs> well, that's fun. What emote did we just get from that hype train? Hype Chill. You guys, is that like a duck? Wait. Look at... <laughs> Look at the, uh, look at, look at it next to Dan's emote. It literally, <laughs> why are they so similar? Wait, <laughs> I know that it's just a, I mean, it's a duck. So like, <laughs> it's gonna be, but what the heck? <laughs> That's so weird. Anyway, um, okay, okay. Well, that was fun. That's today's advent calendar. <laughs> They're copying Dan. Somebody's got to tell him. I'll send him a screenshot. Hold on. Okay. Ready? Let's game. We can actually play The Sims now. Sorry, everybody, for the detour. <laughs> Space babe. Thank you for the gifted subs. Uh, and Pinky and Clary and Mustache and Kaylin and AJ and Purple. Wait, wait. Purple love? And Purple ASF both just subscribed in a row. The chances of two people named Purple in a row is wild. Um, <laughs> uh, and Karuti and Rissa and Sammy and Avelina and Anna and Miss Andre and Sarah and Aaron and Sim Mom and Mini Dancer and Stacey and Allie and Katie and Fox <sighs> and Jenny and Carol and Saw and Dylan and Fruit Boy and, and Kaya and Bailey and Morgan and Christina. Thank you all for the subs. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. I think we're actually caught up. So, now we can play Sims, shall we? Um, okay. Okay. Would you like to issue an APB? Maybe we'll just get started. I don't know. Is Sunny one of the sewer cats? Yeah. <laughs> um, my three cats are Sunny and Shrimp, the sewer cats, um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also Snap, my older tabby cat who was not found in a sewer, um, but I, I was gonna say at times has sewer energy, but she doesn't. She's way more chill than them. They're chaotic. Very chaotic. So. <laughs> How did you get such a pretty police station? Oh, I, I merely changed the swatches of one room and added some extra lights. Um. Oh, guys, I remember now. Here's the situation. We arrested the wrong person last time we played. Remember? And they were only a teen. This one says 
a young adult. So that's, we did, we, we did learn that, huh? <laughs> Shorts, young adult, loner, short sleeve shirt, male, red hair. Well, there's one person here. <laughs> so I'm gonna get him. And we shall see what happens. <laughs> you tried to stop me? Yeah, well, I'm about to do it again, so. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Brandy, Lil, uh, and, and uh, Cookie and Lilacs are twisted and it's uh, Pinky. Thank you for this. I'm sorry, buddy. You like their shoes? Oh, did they have cool shoes on? I wasn't paying attention. I was too focused on arresting them. Anyway. <laughs> what happened to the mama sewer cat? My parents adopted her and one of the other babies. Um, okay. Oh, I was, I thought that was the, the person. It's not. I need to interrogate the suspect, but does anybody see the suspect? Could they have gone upstairs? Surely not. What the heck? So it didn't work? Okay. Well, that's another problem with this career. Shouldn't the suspect be in a cell? Yeah, but they're not. That's what I mean. Isn't that him walking away? No, that was a, it said they were just a citizen because sometimes the citizens come here and you have to like take their reports. Civilian. That person was a civilian. Hmm. Okay, well I'm gonna, I guess I'll take some mug shots so I can still have a good work performance day. I can't solve the case. You can't solve the case if you don't have a person. Do it tomorrow, then maybe we'll be there. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to do it tomorrow. That annoys me. <laughs> I am I am displeased by that, but whatever. Thanks, game. Really appreciate you working. Not. <laughs> Jackson, uh, thank you for the 27 months. Lex, thank you for the 12 months. You were so kind. Thank you so much. Mad Pony and Brandy, thank you for the subs too. Go on patrol and then come back. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's probably worth it. Let me see if we can get any more of our, um... I guess we could just go on patrol and then see if it reloads us. We'll try. Ay ay ay. Thanks a lot, game. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll load and then <laughs> go straight back. Interrogate a random suspect and then cheat it. I don't think you can do that. But I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go back now to the police station and see if reloading will make the suspect come back and if not then well i don't know <laughs> i guess we'll just have to see <laughs> all right did the sound cut out, cut out for anyone else oh i hope not issue a new apb do you think i have to arrest someone else What? My Spotify is, like, cutting out multiple times in a row. Is it cutting out for you, or is it just cutting out in my ears? That's the real question. Okay, and my game is lagging, so that's not good. Hello? Aha! Okay, reloading did fix it. Reloading made the suspect come back, so that was a good idea. Except my game is lagging a lot, so that's no good. You clean the bathroom while waiting for the stream to start. That was a good idea, Faith. I'm gonna clean the house a bunch tomorrow too. Like deep clean level, clean the house, which I think I'm looking forward to. I don't know, <laughs> it's hard to say. Have a look at their heels. Oh, they are nice. I don't know about those heels with those shorts, but what, what am I to judge? I don't know anything about fashion. So, cleaning the bathroom right now. Nice. Okay, are you ready to be interrogated? Come on, come here. 
Some people want to solve the case so that they can get promoted. Okay. Okay. Let's tell a personal story. Promise a tasty meal. Offer a candy bar. Discuss the victim. I may have to close and reopen my game. Because it's lagging a bunch. Which is upsetting. <laughs> Wonderfully, Sandra Jackson, thanks for the subs. <sighs> okay. You need better heals in this game? Yeah, we really could benefit from some better heals in this game. Ask politely for information. Let me show some evidence as well. See if that helps us out a little bit here. Don't bluff evidence. No need to lie. Show crime pictures. Yeah, I don't know about this career. It doesn't excite me that much. If you tap the notifications, it'll stop lagging so much. And eh, unfortunately, it's not gonna make a difference. <laughs> A reload will help us, um, but it's not that easy, so. Are we having a baking stream tomorrow? Please say yes. Okay, so here's the deal, chat. Here's what I've been going through for the past few days. Originally, no baking stream planned for tomorrow. Then, I decided, you know what, I'm adding to the schedule, but I won't say anything out loud about it. Then, I started feeling really sick and horrible on Thursday, and I said, no, 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 no. We are not doing a baking stream on Sunday. It's not gonna work out. It just won't work out. Um, and now I'm in my, I don't think it's gonna work out era. So I don't think that that's gonna happen. It was a, it was an idea, a concept, but the concept will not be executed. <laughs> I would like to do a baking stream before Christmas, but probably next week um, instead of this weekend, just because I'm, I don't think that I want to do it, like all of the effort to set it up and then like, like stand and stream for hours is just not the vibes. To set up a baking stream is a kind of an ordeal, as you might imagine, because there's like a lot of equipment set up. So um, I just don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. If I felt too sick to, pl to stream Not So Berry on Thursday, well then we're, you know. Oh, I don't wanna pee my pants. I'm choosing to not make that happen. Okay, the suspect appears to be guilty. And I did pee my pants, oh no. Does that mean I solved the case? Lock and sell fingerprint. Do you have to, I think I have to start the interrogation again to like end it, right? Oh my God, peeing your pants in the middle of an interrogation is such inconvenient timing. Are you actually serious? Yeah, I have to get a confession now. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Peeing your pants in front of the suspect. <laughs> it never happened. You should cheat the mood little way. I don't know. I, it did happen. I tried to beat it in time, but it still happened. Case closed. Okay. Um, I have to talk to the chief and browse the police database. This really is inconvenient timing, huh? Yeah, and she's pregnant again. <laughs> That would be why um, she peed her pants, in fact. We King, Emma, Red, Cassie, Jaden, thank you for the subs. When you gotta go, you gotta go. There's no time to waste. You know? <laughs> okay, go a little bit faster so we can try and get the day finished. I would really like to get promoted in the next couple days, but I know it's probably unlikely. We'll see. We shall see. Baby named Broccoli. That was definitely one of the names that, that has been um, thrown out a bunch uh, as we've been trying to figure out ideas. So, Snap P. <laughs> oh my, that's also an idea. I really liked the name Alligator. That was kind of the one that was standing out the most to me. Um, so that's, uh, I don't know. I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I don't know how to talk to the chief. You, I think that talking to the chief isn't just talking to the chief. I think you have to like do an interaction that is talk to the chief, but yeah, there we go. I always have a hard time finding it ever since they changed the pie menu, but I got it there. 
Thought it was algae. No, that's this baby. We already have algae. So maybe alligator is too close to that. I don't know. We'll see. But we do already have a baby called algae. <laughs> that is one that we already did. <laughs> so. Pickle pots. Wait, pickle's kind of good. We also talked about Shrek as an idea, and I think Shrek kind of speaks to me as well. Um, so I don't know. I hadn't really thought about pickle. No one really said that the other day when we were talking about this. So maybe pickle is good. Hmm. Mold? <laughs> we can't call it mold, that's too mean, I think. Brussels sprout? We talked about calling the baby sprout. The thing is, I think that, so, I think sprout has the same energy as moss, which is a good thing, but sprout is like almost too cute. Like, I think that sprout could actually be a name. In the same way that moss is actually, like people call themselves moss. So I feel like, I don't know, Fern is like too close to being a real name. Sage is too easy. Like people, that's a very popular baby name right now in real life. I'm looking for like something slightly more chaotic, you know? Slime. Shrek. <laughs> people in chat keep saying booger. Like Salad. There's also the concept of calling it kale. I, I did call uh, my Animal Crossing character when I had that green island, I called my Animal Crossing character kale. So kale is an idea too. Oh, you can't run out, you can't because you're pregnant, okay. Yikes. Um, do you wanna just eat something? Grass? <laughs> croc? I like croc as well. That's also good. What the heck? Buy a snack, there we go. Get a sandwich. Yeah, we need to, we need to close the game and reopen. Clover? Yeah, but Clover, doesn't that sound like a real name? Okay, I think, I think broccoli. What else did I say I liked? Shrek. And what was the other one I liked? No, I don't remember. Pickle. Broccoli, Shrek, and pickle are the ones I'm trying to decide between. Broccoli is funny because it, like, the nickname Brock is like a real name. So it's like full name Broccoli, but. I don't know. We might have to do a poll for when the baby is born. It's not born yet, so we have time. But can I say I did that exercise? I can't because I'm pregnant, so I shouldn't have to. <laughs> I think my sim shouldn't have to worry about that. I really have to close the game and reopen it. This is a disaster. It's so laggy. <laughs> it seems like Pickle is, is by far the favorite though, 69% of the vote is interested in that one. So, maybe that's the way. You can call it broccolini if you're feeling fancy, there you go. Okay, as soon as I get home from work, I'll close, the, close and reopen the game. Hurry up, get your case assignment. There we go, okay. 20 more minutes, then we'll go home. We didn't go into labor at work, so that's a bonus. We might go into labor as soon as we get home from work. There we go. $1,000 from that. Nice. Okay, 65%, final, final results, 65% of chat says pickle, 19% says broccoli, and 16% says Shrek, so. Is this police station on the gallery? No, it's not anything special. People keep being like, oh my God, it's beautiful. It's really not. It's the default police station. I literally just added some extra lights and changed a couple swatches of the existing furniture in that room. <laughs> it's really nothing special. It's the same as the normal one. I just, I like swapped the, the swatches. It's the furniture is still the exact same. I just used a different swatch. <laughs> the extra light I think makes a big difference. Are you okay? Evidently not. This is how I feel right now because it's storming so bad outside, or at least it will be. It's pouring down rain outside right now. Okay, I'm gonna close and reopen the game because it's lagging so bad. It is very unpleasant. 
Um, okay. Come on, game. Come on. Hurry up. You can edit the police station uh, by typing BB dot enable free build. Mm. Okay, the game almost crashed just then. But that's how you get police stations off the gallery too. So I think if you're asking if it's on the gallery, you probably know about that part already. But BB dot enable free build is the way that you can do that. So, wait, Grinch, yes. Yeah, everybody's been saying Grinch, but I don't think I wanna call it Grinch. I don't know, it doesn't really, it's not speaking to me like that. So I don't think I wanna call it that. I don't know. Yeah, and the rain's gonna get worse. Yeah, it's supposed to be a pretty rough uh, storm tonight, so. They're calling it like a tropical storm, except it's December. Weird. <laughs> So, ooh, that looks good. They finally, have you guys noticed this? How the gallery spotlight, it was like just one thing for what felt like months. And now they've like fixed it. So it actually cycles through different stuff again, which has been so nice. Like every time I open my game, it actually shows me a different thing on the gallery spotlight, which I really appreciate finally. <laughs> like it was the same, it was just the one thing. And it was cool, but it's like the, the point is to have multiple you know, and, and spotlight different things, so. All right. Let's load back and try again. Yeah, it was like that modern house, the like brown and white one that was quite big. So weird. Cool build, but <laughs> why was it only one of them? If I made that house, cause, cause sometimes when I start to see my own like stuff, too often, like, you know when you stare at one of your own Sims builds too long and you start to not like it? If I made that house and it was featured on the gallery for literally months, I would have to close my eyes when I open the game. I would have to be like, I don't wanna see that. <laughs> I've, already, I've had enough. <laughs> like, I would be embarrassed by my own work if I had to see it that many times, you know? I, I just, there's only so much of my own builds that I can look at, so. And the other problem is that on the gallery, when they when they really highlight stuff, it causes people to get a lot of hate comments. So I hope that person didn't get a lot of hate comments because of it, because people say the darndest things. <laughs> I've gotten some like like legitimate, like bad hate comments on the gallery before as well. <laughs> like the kind of stuff where it's like, you should probably have like your gallery account banned <laughs> if you're going around saying stuff like that. Like kind of scary. Most times it's just like your builds are ugly and you suck, Lil Simsy. But sometimes it's like, whoa, <laughs> you wouldn't expect that on the Sims 4 gallery, but I know what happens. All right, we're back home. The game is feeling a lot smoother, so I'm, I'm feeling better about that. And I guess we just wait until the baby's born. How are you kids doing? Not good. Moss, do you want to try and get help being potty trained from one of the adults in the house. What about you, LG? Oh, okay. Let's come take care of this little one. I'm gonna try and talk to it so that way it's social goes up because yikes, you know? Where are the graves? Oh, who, these? <laughs> it's really annoying how they don't take care of the infants. I feel like I feel like the infant's needs should be a little bit higher than this because I was at work. Like, I, I feel as though they should have gotten taken care of when I was gone. Why don't they? You know? Did Pulp run away? Yeah, we've had a really rough day. Things have been going not according to plan. <laughs> it happened right at the end of last stream. Like right at the end of last stream. And I had forgotten about it. And then I loaded it and I said, oh God. So, yikes, ew, yikes. No, you need to clean that. That's, that's vile. You clean that up. I mean it. Okay, you're taking care of the baby. Alan passed away from starvation? No, it's a lie again. No baby was whisked away. I'm sick and tired of this. I am sick and tired of this. Okay, hold on. Do you wanna? If it happens again, I'm gonna have to release Alan. 
That is the most annoying bug. If you guys haven't seen that before, welcome to The Sims 4, my first pet stuff, where you get these weird glitches where it says your rat died, except your rat didn't die. And then all of your Sims get a moodlet that's like a baby got taken away by like social services, except they didn't. <laughs> it's a lie. And then repeat. It just happens over and over again. It's really frustrating. <sighs> anyway. My first pet stuff is free. <laughs> you can have it happen to you too. It doesn't do that in your save. That's very lucky, Tiny. This has been happening to me for like literally five years across all of my saves, across all the different rodent types. Sometimes you get lucky and it doesn't happen for a while and then it starts happening again and it happens nonstop. So then you delete the rat and get a new one and then it happens again and it's just rinse and repeat. So. Anyway, Tiny, is Sunny here? <laughs> no, their name was... Ugh! I despise this rodent. I'm releasing it and I'm gonna get a new one. I'm, I have to cheat away this moodlet. See, baby whisked away. A neglected baby can draw a tear from even the staunchest sim. No baby was neglected. The rat didn't even die. It's right there. Like... <sighs> okay, so I'm going to release Alan Seven. I'm gonna try and get a different kind of rat now. Let's see. Maybe I'll get an actual rat this time. Come here. Alan eight. Okay. <sighs> Bedtime. We'll see if that goes better for us. What are you doing outside with the baby? Who? I don't even know what to tell you about this. Like, truly, I... Go inside. Go inside. What do you think you're doing? <sighs> How's it going? I just joined. Um... You know, I wouldn't say it's going well. <laughs> it's, it's going pretty bad um, at the moment. We're having some rat problems. The whole chat keeps saying, just get rid of the rat. No, never. Not moss, not moss, algae. Can you not give algae a bath? Get a bath from Lincoln, come on. Let's try again. The rat is important to me though, so I have to keep it. Can never let it go. Okay, how are you doing on your work performance? I don't know if we'll get promoted tomorrow, but we can try. No, green isn't the last gen. Blue, the next gen after green is actually the last gen. So we have a couple more left to go. Um, Elvie, thank you so much. Oh, that's so cool that I toured your shell and then you showed it to your mom. I'm so glad. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Um, and Caroline and Anna and Lenny and Faith and Grad and Sherry, thank you for the sub. Stink as well. Uh, Silky, thank you so much, everybody. Okay, ending off with a blue Suburban, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to think up something to do next after this. I think I wanna keep playing in this save, but maybe, oh, who just got struck by lightning? Clayton Potts, oh my God, that's the one who died from the rabid rodent fever. And it just got struck by lightning. I'm sorry, but there, that's poetic, given what's happening right now. <laughs> This is the one who's ghost. Can I summon the ghost? That's the one who's ghost. They walk around in a rat costume because they, they died from rats. So that's really funny. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's go put you to bed. Shh, shh, go to sleep. Okay. Now you stay in there, little buddy, okay? Now you can go to bed. Excuse me? The ranch hand is in my house at 11 p.m. Sims and Bloom is pretty fun. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to another like proper legacy challenge. This, we, we'll have just finished our second. I think we might want to hold off <laughs> and then think about something, I don't know. 
I don't know. There's there's a lot of ideas. I need to I need to figure it out before we um make any commitments because. Uh, and I also like there's. <sighs> I, I don't know if I want to keep playing in this save. Oh my god. If we're gonna do a, another brand new legacy challenge, we might, but I'm not really sure. Okay, let's go to the hospital and have this baby. Let's go. That's true, Christine. It is. That might be fun. We'll see. Okay, so we wanted to name this baby Pickle. <laughs> that was voted by chat. Um, I, please, everybody, don't worry about that. <laughs> just don't, don't worry about that, okay? What you just saw, you didn't, don't, it's fine. <laughs> Why did it spawn down there? What was it doing down there? Oh my god, oh my god. It's just my, I have like a cell in my basement. I don't, listen, I don't, okay. I also forgot it was there, and I don't know why the baby spawned down there. That is very alarming. I promise the baby's fine. I like this baby. <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> you like the new nursery chat? Are, are you a fan of my Sims new nursery down here? <laughs> it Okay, so, so here's the justification, all right? I built this because my Sim is a, a police officer. I know, sounds bad. It's part of the challenge rules, okay? I realize I wrote the challenge rules. Anyway, <laughs> but in the career, Pope is back! Oh my God. Anyway, in the career, in the career, you get given, um, when you level up, you get given a bunch of stuff uh, like that, like the, the jail bars and stuff. So it's not my fault, it's not. Okay, we have to stop having babies now because I have too many. I'm overwhelmed, there's eight sims. Big mistake. I'm gonna start crying probably soon when I start thinking about this more. Christine! Oh, you can't post clips like that. It makes me look so bad. I'm gonna save that one. How is the horse still alive? Horses live a really long time in this game. Like almost as long as the Sims do. So. Yeah, when you play, back in the day, the, the original careers used to give you a lot more reward stuff than they do now. What's the ranch hand want from me? Mm, I'm gonna save the game. Who is the sim climbing up the ladder in the clip? Oh, it's the ranch hand. I, I think that he went down there to put trash on the floor. No, that's not, okay, it's just a cat. It's Ken. Oh, it's Ken! I got scared it was gonna be prune and I was gonna get in trouble again, but it's not. So we're fine. All right, please triple speed game. Oh, 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 what's wrong with you? You're sad. Can you try to go night night, please? I just need you to sleep. Like through the night. Oh my God, I shouldn't keep the baby in here with my Sims. Keeps them awake. I should just put it outside of the room and let the baby cry. <laughs> Is there no food in here? Uh oh, yikes. We don't have any food in the fridge. Okay. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Why is the baby's fun gray? Oh, that's a good question. They have, it's frozen trying to open this. Their fun gets grayed out. Oh, I need to do gourmet cooking skill. Their fun is grayed out uh, if you have growing together before they can like move around. Cause you know with growing together, you have to like kind of work your way through some milestones. Um, and before you've gone through some milestones, they can't really do anything. So the baby doesn't have a fun need until it has the ability to like gain fun. Cause right now, he, he can't even hold anything. So we can't like hold a toy to fix it. All the baby can do is just lay there. So until you unlock milestones for them to be able to gain fun, they don't have a fun need. So it just, I mean, it makes it easier for you, but it's cause he can't do anything yet. It's just a brand new baby. 
it just lays there. <laughs> Which, when you say it like that, sounds really weird, but... <laughs> Hi, Mev. Welcome to the Pulp Fan Club. Let me show you Pulp real quick. Um, everyone. This is the star of the show. Can I tell you guys something? I think that Pulp kind of looks like Sunny, my cat. Like, just a little bit. It's, it's like the... <laughs> it's like the rat energy. I mean it with like the most love. But I think that Pulp kind of looks like my cat with the bug eyes and the rat energy. Yeah. <laughs> we need the side by side comparison. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I got a good one for you. Let me, let me find this picture really fast. Okay. You want a side by side comparison? I'll give you a side by side comparison. Do you see what I mean by this? In this picture, Sunny's head looks abnormally large because it's a weird angle and Pulp's head looks small. But otherwise, it's really similar energy, right? With opposite ears, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, that's my cat. Do you guys wanna see another cat picture? You're gonna like this. Ready? Here's me yesterday with them. This is from last night. I made Dan take a picture of me. I said, look, I'm a cat lady. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? It's all three of my friends. You can really see how small she is here. And you see what I mean? How shrimp and, and, and snap are like the same size now, but Sunny is so little. Anyway, I was really happy about them all cuddling me last night, so. <laughs> His eyes are kind of creepy because Dan put the flash on for this picture. This is me and all my friends. <laughs> no, shrimp is not really a shrimp anymore. How does it feel to be living my dream? <laughs> so where did Dan sleep? There, I mean, there's not really enough room for him on the bed is the problem. So yeah, yikes. <laughs> they didn't sleep there the whole night. I Shrimp doesn't usually spend the whole night on the bed. Shrimp likes to sleep in the cat tree. Sunny and Snap come and go throughout the whole night. I, I wake up a lot to the cats on either side of me curl up against me. So they usually Sunny and Snap can't sleep on the same side because Snap doesn't like when the kittens are close to her, but her eyes are closed, so she doesn't know Shrimp is there. Normally, this is like a no-go. He needs to be like a little bit further away for it to be okay. <laughs> if Shrimp was like right here, it's probably fine. This is a little bit too close for Snap's comfort. <laughs> if Snap knew about this, she'd be like, mm. <laughs> you need to back away a little bit. <laughs> oh, they like Dan, yeah. They, they cuddle against Dan too. Um, they're just all with me in this picture, so. <laughs> you like my sheets? Aren't they cute? I like them too. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> There's my little friends. <laughs> Makes me want to cry. This is the third time that all three of them have been on the bed together, like sleeping and cuddling, so. Okay, I just joined what kind of demonic stuff is this? <laughs> okay, I know that it looks creepy, okay? He's not, he's... <laughs> Did I pause the game? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Sorry, pulp jump scare. Okay, anyway. That's my life update from yesterday night. <laughs> I've got like a little zoo, me and all my cats. <laughs> I see space for more cats. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem is that it it is a little bit hard to sleep with this many cats on the bed. Like, like long-term sleeping um, all night when you've got all those cats on the bed. Not ideal. What was on Shrimp's forehead? Nothing. Hold on. I need to zoom in. Maybe it's just like the reflection because Dan did turn flash on for this. So he just looks kind of scary. 
<laughs> He's fine. But nothing's on his forehead. Maybe it was my cursor. Oh, maybe that's what it was. It's cursor is like a weird magnifying glass right now. So <laughs> nothing's on his forehead. <laughs> oh, the cursor made it look like a third eye. Okay, that is creepy. Oh, maybe that's why they were calling it creepy in chat. That makes more sense, I guess. What are you doing? You can't. The kid wants to go admire the shark pond? Oh, buddy, I like you. We knew we picked the right one when we said Moss was gonna be the heir. You are one of us already. <laughs> We're teaching them young. That is that is legacy challenge heir behavior. That was, that was really good of him. Thank you. Yeah, Moss already knows what's going on. <laughs> Moss is ready. Okay, um, would you like to grab a serving of the butternut squash soup? There you go. Um, does anybody else want to go back to bed? This is pretty inconvenient timing, actually, because we do have work in the morning. But we woke up because the baby was causing me problems. Okay. Is your child's name Moss? Yes, their name is Moss. Moss also uses they, them pronouns, just so you know. Moss, are you making a mess? Your name is Moss, not mess. Could be mess if you wanted it to be. <laughs> the toddler has green hair because I have some CC for it. It's the not so berry challenge. So kind of like the whole idea is that uh, every generation has a different color scheme. Um, and so, uh, we sort of go all out at times <laughs> with it. <laughs> Maybe more than I really need to, but. <laughs> when does Moss age out? That's a good question. I will check now. Moss will become a child. Oh, too far. Two days. So not that far from here. Okay. Princess, I think. Why don't all the Sims get. I don't want to have the. I, I don't want to have the day off. I want to go to work today. So, we'll start there. All right. What generation is this? This sim is the heir. She's generation eight. Moss, the baby, is gen nine. Um, but technically, because I played, that's of not so very, but because I played a 10 generation legacy challenge before I started, Moss is actually gen 19 of this save. Um, I can show you. <laughs> Just give me a minute. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna take me a while to get up there, um, but I shall show you. Poppy, Clayla. Okay, hold on. Piper. That's the first one. So this is what we've been playing on stream for a while now. So. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> it's been a long, long time at this point. A long, 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 long time. It's kind of fun though. We, we had more kids up here, but they've like slowly started to disappear and delete from the family tree, which kind of stinks. Um, so we, we don't have like evidence of some of them anymore, but it was fun. The bear? Oh, is there a bear in the family tree? Oh, yeah, that was Barney. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, Barbie, would you like to come help? Baby care. Let's feed. Okay. <laughs> Natty and Molly and Ruthless and Kelsey and Rick and Fan and Hot Dog and Nan and Princess and Vicious. Thanks for the subs, everybody. You had to save with 42 gens and you can no longer see the original heir. Oh, that's devastating. I'm so sorry. That If that happens to me, if my like OG heir gets deleted or disappears, I might actually cry. And I mean that. Okay, your fun is quite low. Do you want to get some food and then maybe watch TV? If you're tired for work, I don't really care. I'll just send you on your own. Um, change dirty diaper. Take care of this one. 
Isn't there an achievement for 100 gens though? Yeah, but I don't ever see myself playing that for real. I think if I was going to do that, I would probably, like, try and speed run it or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, you're getting your fun up at least. Did you finish eating? Barely. Barely. Okay, now it's probably a good time for you to go back to bed for a little bit too. I almost clicked try for baby. <laughs> the absolute last thing that we need to do right now is try for another baby. Should I go to an active work day today? I don't really want to, but going to active work day makes you more likely to get promoted, right? So we probably should, because we're gonna have two days off and we need to max this career. So I think we have to do it. We can be brave and strong. We can do it. <laughs> We can do it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Do all the kids have to be the closest generation? No, you can do whatever you want, Pink Lemonade. I think that most people who play Not So Berry like the exaggerated, ridiculous color themes though. Um, so most people play sort of the way that I do when you play Not So Berry, where you like really go all out and when it's the blue gen, everything is blue. Like their hair, their outfits, their house, <laughs> everything. Like people really like to go all out with Not So Berry. It's like kind of fun, um, but it's not a rule. You can do whatever you want. Um, I, I personally like it because I think it's kind of fun to do something a little bit different. Like I don't normally play The Sims this way, so um, it's kind of fun for me to do it this way and like really embrace it. Like I even downloaded CC of the police work outfit, which is kind of nasty. <laughs> the CC is not bad, but the, down the act of downloading custom police clothes is. Um, but I even downloaded CC that is like the color theme just because it's kind of fun. Like I just kind of like doing it because you never usually get to be this chaotic with your game. I guess you always could be. I just don't usually, so. Anyway. Okay. Let's go and we shall, I guess, collect some crime scene details. Oh, sorry, yawned. But anyway, with any challenge, the, the idea of Sims challenges, at least in my mind, speaking as the person who wrote this particular challenge, the idea of these Sims challenges is not to give you like some strict rule book to follow and if you don't do it exactly right, you lose. Like I don't, that's not how I wanna play this game. The idea is, is just to give you like inspiration and a, like some guidelines for a fun, different way to play the game. And you can do whatever you want with it from there. Like you don't have to do anything. You can adjust anything you see fit. Like it's just supposed to be fun. So pick and choose whatever parts of it you like and do those parts, right? Um, Cause that, this is supposed to be fun for you. So um, do whatever you desire. Okay. Um, I need to take another witness report. This is the sim that was at the police station yesterday that we people thought was the criminal and then wasn't. Oh dear. Collect evidence sample, take evidence picture. Did someone burn the house? Look, it's like, like stuff is burnt. That's worse than I thought it was gonna be. Huh. Oh dear. Normally people just steal things, huh? Take an evidence picture again. I already took one of, no, okay, I didn't. Um, anything else you can get some more pictures of? You just want more witness reports? I don't think I took one from you. I shall start there. Are you, I think this sim is, are you related to me? Yeah, that's my sister-in-law. Uh-oh. Am I allowed to be engaging with her at this crime scene? <laughs> no, 
That's so that's Princess's brother's wife. Okay, I can return to the police station now. Yeah, we do have the unhappy infant trait. We've been through a lot. <laughs> it sounds like a conflict of interest to me. <laughs> yeah, it seems like maybe I shouldn't be uh, engaging with this sim there, but oh well. It's too late. I'm doing it. <laughs> is Pickle the heir? No, we think that Moss is gonna be... We really like Moss. They are a cool sim. It's only a toddler, but, you know. Okay, you wanna go on patrol, you wanna analyze evidence. I think I'll start analyzing. We shall begin there. Come on. Please be successful first try. Okay, good. Add clues to the crime map. Moss is the toddler. This sim is Moss. Everyone's really obsessed with Moss. Not for many reasons. We just feel that way in our hearts. <laughs> so you didn't like miss anything. <laughs> the baby was just born and we were really excited about it. So <laughs> it's the it's the toddler is all. Okay. Um, cross reference the police database. Yeah, Moss has good energy. Earlier, for example, Moss went out on their own to go admire my shark pond. Now, come on. Come on. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Perfect sim. <laughs> okay. Um, Cross-reference again. Yikes, lots of cross-referencing to be done. Moon, Jenny, Emmy, thank you for the subs. Uh, analyze evidence again, I guess. Come on. It is getting windy outside. It's gonna storm bad tonight, to be interesting. All right, oh, Georgia, hello. I'm not, I can't chat, I'm at work. I mean, I probably could chat to you while I'm at work, but <laughs> I don't really, I actually kind of want to get promoted, so <laughs> I'm doing what I can. <sighs> All right, shall we analyze more evidence? One more sample. The advent calendar today? Oh, good question. Look at this. This is a grandfather clock, Lego. Kind of cool, right? And also this Sunny D from my mini brands, like orange juice. So. Moss should live in a mossy cottage in Henford. You know what? Moss living in a mossy little cottage is kind of a good idea. You know the like mossy roof texture from the werewolves pack? That might be kind of good. Okay, I'm actually really excited for this build. <laughs> We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves because Moss is only a toddler. <laughs> but Moss will become a child today. So we have that to look forward to. Okay, keep adding clues to the crime map. Um, do you wanna cross-reference the police database again? More, please? You have the same song on repeat? I do? No, this is Sim Time Sim Place. Last was The Sims 2 theme. Next is Sim Heaven. A lot of them sound similar. Um, and I, the playlist, we did listen to this earlier. <laughs> but, you know. You think it's loud? I could turn it down a little bit. And you think it's too loud. Um. Okay. Similar, you know? Um, add clues to the crime map again. Can't even hear it? Oh, that's okay. It's mostly just there, so it's not like completely silent. It's supposed to be subtle background noise, so. Add clues to the crime map again. Discuss case theories with coworker. Ooh, this Sim's wearing all green. I'll discuss case theories with you. 
talk to the chief. My social is low, so... Where is the chief? Usually the chief's at their office desk. Hmm. Oh well, I won't bother. I'll just talk to some randoms next to you. What, was this him the chief? No. 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 We're level six in the career, hopefully close to level seven at the moment. Um, okay. 6 p.m. we go home from work. Puppet, uh, Think and Moon, thank you for the subs. Uh, not promoted. Didn't the old chief die? Yeah, but then we got another one that's also an elder. That one might've died too, but they were there yesterday. I don't know. Maybe they died today and that's why they aren't there. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> Doesn't matter that much. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, we're going back home. It is New Year's Eve, so it's a holiday. We're close to getting promoted, so hopefully on Monday we will. I'm gonna let my sim go to sleep because you've had a rough day. Moss, you have two days until you age up. I wanna see if I can get you some more skills. I wanna try and get some like legs up on our later situation for when you age up into a child. Um, Algae, how long until you age up? Two days? I can't have two infants at once. So when the time comes to age up the new little baby into an infant, I'm gonna age this one up into a toddler. Cause I can't deal with that. I'm not cut out for it. And you know what we could do after this? Maybe what we could do is swap, like I, I could just have the new baby take over this room. We'll give this baby this room as a toddler and then I can make Moss a new room for when they're a child. Cause this way Moss will have an ensuite bathroom, which is legacy heir behavior. Let's do it now. We don't need this room anymore cause my Sims brother that used to live in here moved out, so. We can mess with it ourselves. Okay, do you wanna do it? <laughs> do you wanna renovate the room for Moss? I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, okay? But it might be kind of fun. Do I have move objects on? No. Okay, so we're thinking childhood bedroom for a sim named Moss. Couple things I really liked. Number one, the Moss rug, obviously. Um, and then maybe some sort of like, I'm okay with trying some pattern. I do wanna be careful as to not use the same stuff that I always use though. Like we always go for this. So let's not do that. Maybe Moss could have like something like that as an accent wall. I don't know. I don't know. The leaves? The leaves are also an interesting idea. I might want to save that for later. Tree decals are also an interesting idea. We have a lot of options. Maybe I'll give Moss a different set up for their bathroom too. That's kind of cute. We'll see. Um, okay. The circles aren't cute, Bessie. Please don't be mean. <laughs> Listen, you're not gonna like everything that we do. It's the not so berry challenge. We have to be a little bit, um, chaotic at times with the choices we make. It's fun. You just have to sort of like reframe the way that you think about this stuff um, and have a less negative mindset. <laughs> I, everyone here, wow, that's a lot. Everyone here could greatly benefit from sort of like looking at this with a more positive outlook as we're beginning, you know? Sometimes, um, to, as, as chat says, sometimes too much is actually not too much. <laughs> Thank you for your support. 
<laughs> Sometimes too much is not too much. We'll see how it goes. It'll be cool. Just give us time. Just give us time. More is more, you know? <laughs> Taffy Fern! That's a fun name for a time like this. And Matt and Fiona, also a fun name for a time like this. We thought about naming the baby Shrek and then we didn't. So Fiona is funny. Okay, let's see. Green. Um. Okay. Okay, I do want a single bed for Moss for now. I think that's not even close to being green enough. Oh, th this one could work. It's kind of lime colored as well. The leaf curtains would be amazing. Yeah, but I think that they're too wide. I was looking at them too, before you all panic. Everybody really gets excited about leaf curtains, but I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it's not what I'm going for. I can't explain it. Why is the room sparkling? Oh, bust the dust. <laughs> it's bust the dust. Does this not come in green? How could you do this to me? Okay, I think Moss needs some like little fairy lights. I don't know if those are gonna work. These also don't come in green. Maybe just the plain ones. <sighs> really raining now. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but that sounded really loud and I have headphones on. <laughs> um, parenthood, parenthood. Just regular fairy lights, please, for moss. What am I doing? It's lost. Okay. So these won't come in green, but... I think that's fine. Also, not really the exact same concept, but what if sometimes I, <gasps> okay, that's, yeah, that's perfect. Sometimes I like to take those little things and put them in the windows. That's kind of cool, right? Okay. That really actually works perfectly for this. Okay, 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 okay. Let's pick a better light too. A more interesting ceiling light. See, you get to do so many fun things when you do chaotic, not so berry challenge stuff. <gasps> oh, that's too much. <laughs> it's, it's, it's leaning a little bit too blue for me. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> It's very blue. It's not really screaming moss. It's screaming blue. You know? That's from Strangerville. We have to, we have to find a place to use that some, sometime soon. We, we should try and build like a, I don't know. We should just try and find something that we can use that in. Cause I think that would be cool. Okay, this is a good addition somewhere. Um, let me show you all the rules for Not So Berry as well, so we can show, like, I'll show you what we are trying to figure out here with Moss's future. Um, so if you scroll all the way down to Gen 9, you were caught hacking by a major tech company that then offered you a position in their firm. <laughs> you know Penelope Garcia from Criminal Minds? That's you. You can tell I wrote this in my Criminal Minds era when I was in high school. Um, Anyway, we're squeamish, geek, and cheerful, computer whiz, tech guru. We have to do mixology, video gaming, and programming skills. Um, lots of stuff like that. Lots of friends, lots of enemies. Um, so we're gonna give them a desk and probably a computer. I'm trying to figure out where I wanna do that. Um, I'm thinking maybe it could just go right here. I don't know what kind of desk. Green lava lamp? Oh, that's fun. We can do that. I like that idea. Maybe something like this, because that's kind of an interesting shape. Kitty TV with a console and kitty chair. Oh, that's cool. 
Maybe I'll get, I guess we could get a decent computer for now. They probably don't need a gaming computer because they're just a little kid, but we have a lot of money so we can buy something pretty good. You can go to University Sims Lover if you're playing this challenge. You can do whatever you want. Um, you don't have to, but if you want to, you totally can. University could give you a leg up. I, I would say that for most of them, though, it, it kind of just slows you down. Like, like university is not really necessary for most of the parts of this challenge, but, but a couple of them might be fun. Um, things like maybe the purple gen might be good to take to university because they have to do a lot of skills and have multiple careers throughout their life. Um, but sending your sims to university for the careers that you're not interested in playing is a good idea, Christine. Um, use it as like a way to sort of <laughs> hurry on through stuff that you don't really care to do. <laughs> um, I think that's a really good idea. Okay. I'm gonna give Moss some little trees behind their bed. I don't like those. Peach Gen definitely went to uni. Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> kind of a unpleasant career. <laughs> Detective career, I agree. Sorry, everybody. Fairy forest bedroom. That's a great way of describing this. I appreciate you saying that, that's cute. Fairy forest bedroom. Can't play university now that I'm in college, it's too real. I Yeah, I can see that. The university came pack came out right as I was graduating college, I'm pretty sure. Um, or, wait, no, November of 2019, no. I graduated in like May of 2020, but close, close, I checked. Sort of sometime around then. <laughs> Um, oh, this one's gonna be fine. That helps tie stuff together a bit better. Okay. Maybe I'll put this bookshelf over here. We need to get some toys for this kid as well. Is Moss a teenager? No, Moss is a toddler <laughs> who is about to age up into a child in a couple days in game. Um, but Moss is in fact a toddler, so we're, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves right now. <laughs> There's not really a need for this quite yet, um, but there will be, and I'll be ready for it. Okay. I'm thinking over here I want to do their dresser and stuff. I'll be good. We also are gonna need, if we're gonna have this little science thing, we're gonna need a fire alarm. Um, okay. How about some sort of dresser? I know I just talked about that, but maybe like, this one has a couple cute swatches that have like some photos and this sim is supposed to have a lot of friends. Like that's part of the the storyline is like, oh, you have a bunch of friends. So maybe we could have them have like some photos with their friends up on the wall. Felix, we, we haven't 100% decided, but we have been talking a little bit about where the green gen's gonna live uh, when they grow up. And there was discussion about moving into Henford on Bagley and living in like a mossy little cottage because the Sims name is Moss. I know that's a bit on the nose, <laughs> um, but that was kind of the the thought process maybe, is that, that maybe that would be kind of cute because, you know, named Moss and whatnot. The science table starts fires, oh yeah. If you haven't had that happen to you, honestly, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> That's good. Um, it's probably only a matter of time if you if you use it a decent amount. Is that chair weird or does it look cool? I kind of like it. I think I'll use it. I like the idea of the toadstool one, but I feel like I use this literally everywhere, like everywhere. So I don't know if I should. 
Because I use that in so many of my builds. I keep putting it in like my kids' rooms and stuff. So I don't know. It is quite mossy though. Can I mix and match with a little bit of yellow? It has no back support. That's also a problem. Good point, Christine. Oh wait, this is so cute. Oh. It's very like, um, green. <laughs> It's, it's all very green in here. I prioritize comfort over vibes there, as you should. We'll get a, la a lava lamp. I, and we haven't put clutter on the nightstand either, so I will. Don't worry, I did not forget. I'm thinking this. Oh, that won't place right. Oh, weird, okay. I just wanted to have those next to each other on top of the bookshelf. We need yellow. Like, like you think that we need um, other colors added in here? Cause, okay, so here's the problem. This is the not so berry challenge. <laughs> and in the not so berry challenge, I really like to go all out very dramatically with color schemes. So everything else is peach cause it's the peach gen. Here's the other rooms, the one that Moss lives in right now. Um, just to give you like kind of some context. <laughs> we really, really enjoy committing to the meme. So uh, even if you don't like it and think that it needs additional colors, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Welcome to Not So Berry, I guess. <laughs> oh wait, that could probably go on top of, Can, does that fit? Oh, I'll come back to that. I want the lava lamp too before it, whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's very green. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was put this little moss, cause there's like a moss ball in there and the Sims name is literally moss. So. Any other little toys? What are we up to today? Oh, we're playing our not so berry challenge. Um, and uh, currently at this moment, we're decorating the new green bedroom for our legacy heir, whose name is Moss and really likes the color green. <laughs> so that is what the we're up to at the current moment. Um, maybe Moss can have this. I think I like that. Oh, storming. Lots of rain. Okay, we need something on this wall. Yeah, we'll make the ensuite green too. I've only started by picking a tile. We have to adjust it more as well. Isn't there a moss ball plant and snowy escape? Yeah, that's what this is. Okay. Um. Oh no, that could probably stay there. Let me think about any other little clutter that we could probably get because that fits nicely in there. And then maybe, why does that slot like that? That's terrible. Boo. I need to fix the slots on this thing. Here, we can have some of these. They don't quite come in green, but that works. All right, Um, any other little bits? of decorations. I'm wondering if we should do some mess on the floor. These don't really come in green either. I don't even know if Moss would have a messy room, but I do like how I, no, I don't wanna have a messy room for Moss. I'm sorry, I take it back. I didn't mean it. Any other toys that Moss could have maybe? Hmm. I kind of like the idea of having one of these things, but, oh. Oh. Okay, this is supposed to be a height chart. It no longer really serves that purpose very well. Maybe I'll just get rid of it. This is a lot. I'm gonna use it anyway. Is there anything else green 
that I may want to use. Hmm. Um. Oh, like a photo. We can pretend it's them and their friends. They're supposed. That's part of the rules of the generation. They're supposed to be like really close with a lot of friends. Okay. The room is giving Animal Crossing. Do you think? I take that as a huge compliment. <laughs> the frogs are cute. Oh, frogs will be good too. Okay, we can add those last. Uh oh. Please finish saving. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, all right. Let's see. Frogs. Even if we just had, like, one or two. Because they need to be green. I think that the bigger one should be the one that sticks out more from the wall. And, like, looks a little bit more different. I think that's good. This is so much. Um, I need to fix the bathroom too, obviously. We'll get to that next. Bathroom's not the priority yet. Shall I put lights on the wall? I know these aren't green, but I do like the idea of them. This is one of the more dramatic kids' rooms I've ever made. Um, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot, okay. Shall we do some sort of green floor? Whoa. No, that's too much. <laughs> Sorry. I, I have to be careful with my own desires at times. I actually think that this horrible green is kind of fun. Do you guys think I can use it? That's not quite green, but it's green in a good way. We'll get enough extra green. Um, something that seems, this one is green and bath mat like, but it's not really the color scheme that I'm going for. That also isn't really the color scheme I'm going for. That matches the tile, but doesn't match the floor. Scoot the bed over a little so the drawing table has more space. We could do that a little bit. We could benefit from that. Okay. Let me just scoot these over a bit too. I could raise this up as well, because you can't see that it's floating. Okay, can't wait for to make the greenhouse now. I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun decorating the greenhouse <laughs> once we get to the this part, like once Moss is an adult and, and living on their own and everything, we're gonna have a lot of fun doing Moss's house. <laughs> I had a pretty hard time with the Peach Generation's house, the one that we're in right now. Cause like Peach is a weird, weird sort of thing to try and build, but um, I think green is gonna be really good. Are you gonna go for that type of green or any green? Well, it's gonna be, um, I don't know. Any shade of green will, will do, but we'll see what it ends up looking like. It's also gonna be a cottage, so. Um, that's the, that's the vibes, I think. Oops, sorry. I was trying to read what, <laughs> did that just type that in chat? Why did that happen? I was trying to read, I see, I saw Christine reply to something and I can never, they were like posting a nice message, but I can never see the full message because it doesn't show it. <laughs> they were trying to express appreciation for having closed captions and I just couldn't read their full message because Christine, like when, with the reply, I saw the reply, but not the full message. Anyway, nothing bad happened. It was a nice person. I don't know why it showed me typing the slash user in chat though. Twitch, <laughs> you can't do that. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Nothing bad happened though. I was just trying to read the whole thing. You guys can see it in chat too, where like when there's a reply, you can't see the full, uh, the full context. Um, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> so, uh oh. At least I know that it's being weird right now. I won't try and type slash user today anymore. So, <laughs> okay. That's pretty good for now, I think. Some more decoration in this room. I don't like this rug with this floor. Okay. 
Anything else that's a little bit brighter green? Ooh, yikes. No, 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 no. Command worked fine for you. Yeah, I don't, I'm scared. I mean, I might try and type it with someone else. Slash user, maybe I'll slash user myself. That worked. Maybe it was a weird fluke thing. Uh-oh. Frog rug? Well, frog is good too, but it doesn't have like bath mat vibes, you know? The frog. I can just put it there anyway. It's kind of chaotic. Eh, let's just use it. <laughs> and shockingly, we still have a lot of money left over for our Sims. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Okay, okay. Everyone else is fine. Moss is still only a toddler. <laughs> Moss is not even close. To, well, we still have like two days, right? One day, two days, something like that. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me give Moss some food. Go all out with the green toilet. Wait. <laughs> you know what? Yes. How do you decide if a sim is non-binary? That's an interesting question. Um, I, vibes? <laughs> what, a chat said vibes too, so I don't know. It's just what I feel in my heart, I guess. Um, it's hard to explain. <laughs> Did I just put that in the wall and not in the... I think I did, let me check. Yep. It's a good thing I checked, otherwise I would have wasted that. Okay, how do you get the subtitles? Um, the closed captions, if you hover over my stream, it didn't happen again. It's lagging a bunch. Um, yeah. Yikes. If you hover over the stream, you can type the little CC button in the chat. Oh, it doesn't want to work, that's why, there we go. You can type the little CC button in the chat and then you can uh, get the closed captions. If you're on mobile, um, depending on what kind of phone you have, it's different. Um, you might have to do it in your like settings, like your accessibility settings for your whole phone. It also might work fine just in the Twitch app. It kind of depends, um, but that's how it works. So um, anyway. It's pretty easy. They're not the best because they're it's automatic. I have like a plugin installed on my OBS um, to try and caption things. I'm looking at it right now and they're pretty good. There's obviously no uh, like punctuation or anything. It's just words. <laughs> so it's not ideal, but to you can't really hire someone to like a stenographer to live type what I'm saying on stream. That would be like un unbelievably expensive. There's just not really feasible. Um, so it's good for what we have. Uh, it's it, it works. It's pretty decent about uh, figuring out what I'm saying. I do hire someone to do captions for my YouTube videos, uh, like an actual person to write them. But that's a little easier than live captioning a stream, so. Uh, but I pay for all my videos to get captioned on YouTube, so. My friend Hope does it. Her name is Goose Kingdom. You may have seen her in the chat. Okay, let's cook again, shall we? Oh, there's Goose Kingdom in the chat right there. <laughs> Um, do you want to make some, I don't know, other food? I'm trying to work on maxing the gourmet cooking skill a little bit. Did I save? I think so, but just in case I'll do it again. <laughs> it won't hurt to do it now as well. An actual person I thought hope was a horse. You know, Christine, it would be very impressive if I hired a horse to do my closed captions. I, I just feel like a horse would probably have a hard time typing. So, <laughs> uh, listen, soy milk, it, it means a lot to me to have the content be accessible when I can and when it's feasible too. So I do what I can. I really think that more people on YouTube should uh, get closed captions. 
<laughs> officially done for their videos. Um, I know that not everybody maybe doesn't think about it, and there are auto captions on YouTube, but um, it's better to have real ones when you can. Like when you only upload like once a week, couple times a month, it's like, you know, it's kind of, you can get it done. I post daily and I pay someone to do it, so. Anyway, um, not everybody can afford to, but um, a lot of YouTubers can, <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> anyway, especially when like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to shame anybody. I think they just don't think about it, but like a lot of people, when, when you make sponsored content, and like the general system for most YouTubers is they post one video a week and it's usually sponsored. You finish that a lot before you post it because the sponsor has to approve it. Like sometimes when I post sponsored content, I made it two weeks ago. So there's a lot of time in between like the creation and it being finished and then it being uploaded for you to be able to do captions. Um, especially when you're only posting like couple times a month or whatever, so anyway, I wish that more people did it, but anyway, a lot of people use it for a lot of different reasons, like maybe reasons that you might not even expect, like not even just people that are hard of hearing, but like sometimes maybe you're watching it with a baby <laughs> and you want to turn the volume down, so you put the captions on. Maybe you're trying to learn English, um, so you turn the captions on so you can follow along a little bit better, you know, like so many people use it for a lot of different reasons, so um, it's pretty cool. No, 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 the captions don't need to be done for the sponsor to approve the video. I just mean that like you send it to the sponsor way in advance. So there's a lot of time in between you uploading it and it being finished for you to be able to get captions, you know, um, most of the time. Um, so obviously the, the sponsor might ask you to change something, um, but it kind of just depends. <laughs> it would be like a small wording change sometimes. Anyway. They come back with interesting changes sometimes. <laughs> a lot of times the when I do sponsor videos, I send them I send it in for approval. It'll be like, a, oh wait, can you add this line of text on the screen? Oh, can you change the footage here? Can you add in some extra footage here? It's not always changing of the wording. Sometimes they want you to change wording. Sometimes it's like, um, they have a very specific, why is that? Oh, the lighting is bugged on this. Hmm. They'll have like a very specific, like you have to say like, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of an example, but maybe if I'm talking about like um, this bassinet and, and I'm like, oh, you know, blah, 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 grab the bassinet. They'll be like, no, you have to call it the something bassinet. Like the, you have to use the specific wording. And so they'll correct you and you have to go back and change it in the, in the footage or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, you know, when I do like a Samsung sponsored thing, the Samsung Neo G9, blah, blah, like you say all the words exactly correct and whatever. With that one, I was really nervous about saying things wrong. So <laughs> I scripted that and made them approve the script before I recorded it. Sometimes with like smaller things, I don't really feel like I need to send in a script for approval first, but when it's like wordier and like more room for, oh, I just threw a Lego more room for like maybe them to want changes, I'll like send the script in first and ask them to approve it. Like when I did the Pativity thing, um, the smart litter monitor, um, they, <laughs> litter monitor, you have to say litter monitor. <laughs> I sent them a script because I know that with that, it, it was kind of a weird like, you, I didn't want to say the wrong thing because it's kind of specific when you're talking about how like, oh yes, this litter monitor can track your cat's litter behavior and help catch signs of a medical diagnosis early, but it can't diagnose your pet. So I was like nervous that what I was going to say was going to be wrong and they were going to want to look at it first. Turns out it was fine and they approved it with no question, but I sent in a script for that first too. Cause I was like, just to be sure there's like legal considerations here <laughs> when we're, when we're talking about like the, can help you catch signs of a problem, but not diagnose you, you know? Um, anyway, makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> okay, okay, how's everybody doing? Should we go to bed soon? What's this baby need? Can you age up soon? No. When does this baby age up? Today? Oh, tomorrow. I thought this was today. <laughs> I was on the wrong day. Okay, we have time then. 
worry about it later. Okay. That was a cool sponsorship. I thought so too. I thought so too. Something else kind of interesting, um, like on the back end of that is apparently Purina has like rules <laughs> in place internally where they don't advertise with pets under a year old. Um, like they just won't do that. Um, and so uh, it was like specific snap <laughs> was, had to be in the footage when I was filming the cat videos because they didn't want to use kittens. Also the litter monitor is, um, it's like, it doesn't, guarantee work as well for kittens under a year old because their weight like it the idea is that it's trying to track your cat's weight right and it picks up on changes over time if things are going wrong or whatever well kittens are growing <laughs> a lot so <laughs> it makes sense you know that it's not gonna work as well with a tiny kitten versus a an adult cat um who's like stabilized <laughs> you know in size um but that i thought was kind of interesting i never really thought about that before um Kind of cool. Okay. Um, you feed the baby quick. Snap was born for the role. <laughs> Snap was born for the role. She was born to be a star. Baby care, change dirty diaper. Okay, you can just go to sleep too. Did Snap receive compensation? I mean, I personally feel like uh, everything in this house belongs to Snap. So. Yes. <laughs> She's finally helping to pull her weight around here. <laughs> if you've been to my house, I actually felt like a little bit embarrassed when Sasha came over a couple weeks ago or last week, whenever it was, time's a blur. Because literally my living room, you guys don't understand. I have two cat trees in my living room. I have one of those cat donut like rings. I have like baskets of cat toys. I have like, there's just, you guys, my house, <sighs> You'd think I had 10 cats based on the amount of stuff that's in my house. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> there's just three, just three. But it, I, yeah, my, my cats, um, they, they've been compensated appropriately <laughs> for their help with my internet. <laughs> oh yeah, I wasn't worried when Hope came over. I knew she would understand all of my cat things. No, it's no different than having like kid stuff all over. No, exactly. Um, but it's cat stuff everywhere instead. <laughs> um, anyway. Please share that some automatic litter boxes can be harmful to kittens too. Oh, I don't know anything about automatic litter boxes. The litter monitor that I'm talking about is just a, um, it's like a, it's almost like a scale, um, but it hooks up to an app on your phone and it tracks it, you just put it underneath the litter box. It isn't like the litter robot that like rotates and cycles and cleans it for you or whatever. Um, it's just a litter monitor that goes underneath it. So it's very skinny and it just sits underneath the litter box. So it does the like tracking stuff that some of those smart litter boxes do, but it's not a smart litter box. It's just a monitor. Um, so it's not like, it's just a scale. Like the cats don't even know it's there. <laughs> um, so, okay. Talk, shush, rock, bounce, bottle feed. Oh my god, these babies always need help. Um, oh, really galloping? <laughs> Some litter robots are not safe so that small cats and kittens can get between the mechanic. Oh, dear god. Yeah, I don't know anything about litter robots. I don't have one, so. Um. Yeah, I think in general, they tell you not to ever use those things for cats under a year old, so. You hear about stuff like that. Um, do you still use things you're sponsored for after? Yeah, <laughs> I don't take money to sell you guys things I don't like, so. <laughs> and when you get sent a litter monitor that costs a couple hundred dollars, I'm not just gonna what, like throw it away? No. Anyway, yeah, that's the thing. Those, um, the litter robots, again, I don't have one of those, um, but they're like $800. That's a scary investment. The thought of buying a litter robot, cause I, I think I would be really worried about my cats being scared of it. Um, it's like a, a robotic litter box and it cycles and like cleans, it will like um, sift out the, you know, poop and pee 
out of it um, and then put it into a drawer underneath. So you would just clean the drawer instead of scooping. Um, but I like my fear is that my cats would be scared of it. I don't hear a lot of horror stories Like it seems like most people who have it like it and their cats like it and aren't scared of it, but I don't know It's it's scary the thought of investing that much money into something that you don't know if your cats are gonna be okay with <laughs> So it makes me kind of nervous Cats get curious and try to look at it while cleaning. Yeah, I see people on the internet talking about stuff like that for a, for a while there, I was getting like only ads for it on TikTok. You can't return it? Well, you probably can return it. The problem is like they're gonna, I don't know how, what the return period is. Again, I don't have one. So like, I don't know. I'm just speaking from like what I think would happen. Um, <laughs> but I feel like the cat would need time to adjust to it. And then you, you kind of have to give it time to think about it. But then like, Maybe it's been a couple weeks and then it's too late to return it. I don't know what the return policy is like. I don't know how it works. Again, I don't have one, <laughs> but I don't know. It makes me nervous. Um, yeah, that's kind of my thought process on it too. I know a lot of people are grossed out by litter boxes. I, people, the way they talk about cats sometimes, cause they'll say it in my chat too. They'll be like, aren't you like disgusted by the cats being in your bed? Cause they step in their litter box and like they go on the bed and litter boxes smell so bad and it's so gross and stinky. But I sort of think that the cats are clean. <laughs> like they do their business and they clean up after themselves in the litter box and then you just scoop it straight away and I'm home all the time. So I don't really see it as being that big of a deal. Um, I honestly think that dogs are grosser than cats because they're going outside and trampling in who knows what. So, um, anyway. <laughs> but I don't even care. I, I let the dog go on my bed too. My parents have three dogs, you know? I've grown up with a million pets, so I don't really find animals gross anymore. Um, but yeah, I don't think that the cats are dirty. I don't really feel that way about it. Um, I guess they are probably objectively a little dirty, but eh. Eh. Yeah, it's no different than dogs, except they like, you know, you scoop dogs poop outside and you scoop the cats poop inside. But the cats have a toilet, they have like a bathroom, you know? <laughs> As an owner of both a rat and a dog. Oh, maybe you said meant cat. Who knows? I assumed rat, but typo. <laughs> you think dogs are gross? Yeah, I think litter boxes are just gross if you don't clean them enough. And a lot of people don't clean them enough, so. Makes sense. Okay. The jump to having three cats, big litter changes. When we had all of the kittens here, like when I had Frankie the mom and then the three babies, because we found cats in a sewer. Anyway, most of you know that by now, but there's probably somebody here who doesn't. <laughs> but when I had all of those, you guys, I could not scoop that litter fast enough. I swear, you turn around for two seconds, somebody pooped and they're playing with it. <laughs> like, nonstop. It's just, you, like, it was so much. These And they would, con I mean it, they would, they would poop in there, and then somebody else would go in and get it, and then try and play with it. Constant. Just constant. <laughs> Yeah, I get that, Elvin, for sure. Some people need help with it, um, with the with the upkeep. It's just hard because it's so expensive, right? Like, the um, the eight hundred dollars is a massive. They are. I think you can get them. I don't know, seven hundred, <laughs> as if that's better. I don't know how much it costs. Somebody in chat said eight hundred, so I'm going off of that. But um, yeah, it, it definitely would help a lot of people. I just think that the price is a little intimidating to me. So. This is 500. Oh, that's better than 800. <laughs> oh, it's grave. Can you feed me or change my diaper? Please. Oh, Hope needs help. Do you have... Here, come here. You have to give this to Pulp. Give that treat. Wellness treat. Okay, step one. I got you, Pulp. Um, we- I turned the neighborhood action plans back on, so everybody has the we wear bags thing. 
So you bought a refurbished one with a warranty. You don't, you don't know how much it was, but it's still kicking five years later. That is promising because some people talk about how they break after like six months. Someone in chat earlier said they had it for eight months and then it broke. So I guess it is really kind of hit or miss, huh? Again, scary investment for how much it costs. But I, I'm certain it is really good when people have it. I'm just intimidated by it. So. Okay, Kat, thank you for the tier two. 52 months in China and Megan Belly and Red, thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this Snap and the Kittens, they, you, we have a bunch of litter boxes, but they use them all sort of interchangeably. They don't really mind. Snap's not um, too, too picky about um, them being around when she's using the bathroom or them using the same litter boxes. They do have, there's two next to each other in one room, and I've noticed that they poop in one and pee in the other. Like, <laughs> there's sort of like some preference. They're, they do it in both, but it's like one of them, they use more for one thing, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Your cats do that too, really? <laughs> they got preferences. Um, you've had three different litter robots over the last seven years. The last model has been having issues for us. It's not cycling after number twos. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's interesting to hear um, like feedback from people who have bought it. Honestly, it's probably helpful if anybody's thinking about getting one. It's probably nice to hear from people in chat that have one. Um, it's probably a really big help. Okay, do you want to try and actually bathe this baby now? Because you didn't. And it's smelly. <gasps> Hannah, 46 months! Oh my goodness. <laughs> also, Rosie and Alice, thank you for the resubs too. Okay. Um, oh, Carol, Moss is the, the toddler. This sim is Moss. Oh, yikes. Moss is smelly. Ooh. Is that rain? I didn't hear it that well. Okay, you know what, chat? Sometimes you have to cheat pulp sneeze. Just to be safe. <laughs> you talk about cats so much on stream, I love it. I know, I'm sorry, it always comes up. And I always feel like I need to stop because I'm talking about it too much. But like, my whole life kind of revolves around cats. It's like, I have two obsessions. It's the Sims and cats. So I, this is all you're going to get from me. Sims, cats, Sims, cats. <laughs> and not much else. So, yeah. <laughs> we don't mind? Okay, good. Amy, thank you for the sub gift, by the way. Thank you so much. Fully understandable and reasonable. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Taylor Swift. I guess that's true as well. <laughs> Oh, we watched the um, the Eras Tour movie yesterday. Me and Dan never made it out to the movie theater to see it in person. I wanted to to go to the movie theater to see it, but um, I get a little bit intimidated leaving the house, so I we didn't go. We should have, but I didn't. Anyway, um, we rented it and we watched it last night, um, and that was kind of fun. So <laughs> it was pretty good. One thing I will say about it that I don't understand. I, so they cut a few songs um, in the like movie theater release, which makes sense like time-wise because it was it's so long, um, and I I get it. Like I knew you know whatever. But when no you have to shower, in the extended cut that they put on streaming, they gave back three of those songs they they cut, um, but they only put them at the end. They didn't like splice them in. They just put them at the end. And I don't really understand that. And I think that's kind of weird. Like, I feel like in the extended one, it wouldn't have been that hard to cut it into the middle in order. Like, I don't understand why they just put it at the end. Isn't that really weird? Oh well, it's not that big of a deal, but. Which movie? Oh, the Taylor Swift Eras Tour movie. <laughs> but it seems kind of lazy to not cut them in the right order. I really, it wouldn't have been that difficult. Like, anyway, whatever. Um, whatever. Editing was weird all around, didn't flow at all. I mean, I, I understand how it would be hard because in when the 
real in the real show they had so much more transition time like they have to build in transitions as part of the show because she's like changing and stuff but in the movie they're trying to cut out all those transitions and try and cut it for time i saw someone talking about this on reddit so i'm gonna repeat what they said because i don't really think about it like this because when they cut it down they cut quite a bit of like transition stuff and songs to make it a little bit shorter it's still like three hours long like it's really long but they cut some parts of it and that's because you think about like even an extra 15 minutes when you're trying to have like a whole day of showings in a movie theater it's like 15 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes 15, it really adds up and then you need to have like buffer period in between and the movie theater is only open for a certain number of hours in the day so if you want to have like a lot of showings a reasonable number of showings they have to like trim it to be a reasonable movie length. You can't just put in everything and then show it in the theater. It'd be fun, but they wouldn't have as many showings and it, the demand was so huge. So anyway, it makes sense to me, but still sad. <laughs> um, adding the footage to the theatrical version makes it a whole new version, which means they have to go back through approvals and stuff. Oh, really? But just putting it at the end doesn't make a difference? Interesting. I guess that makes sense too. I don't know much about how it works but I was sad that it was just put at the end. <laughs> I knew it was going to be, but I was sad about it still. Um, hello? I think I just heard a cat. Anybody? Nope, I made it up. <laughs> nope, I made it up. Yeah, Tariki, I do have a, a P.O. box. If It's exclamation point mail in the chat is the P.O. box. You can type that anytime, even when I'm not live. Um, you can type that and it'll pop up if you ever, if you like are looking for it another time and you forgot or whatever. Um, it's just exclamation point mail. Have a Sims bladder fill in a lot with five or more toilets. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, a lot of movies have extended versions that have extra scenes in the middle, but I don't really know. Any, I mean, I'm sure some people here know more about how it works than me. Um, so. Okay. Um, no, Carol, I didn't try on the merch in the video. What was the question? Did you ask if I have tried it on yet at all? Because I did try it on. I didn't want to do like a try on haul of the merch in my YouTube video because I felt uncomfortable with the thought of doing that. <laughs> I'm um, anxious and self-conscious, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, you know what? I deserve to cheat these babies' needs a little bit because it's bothering me. It's no one's taking care of it appropriately, so. Um, but come on, get a bubble bath from Princess. Try again. Why won't you bathe the kid? No one bathes the kid. Maybe I will now. Okay, sorry, false alarm. You will bathe the kid. You're doing it now. Okay. Are you ready to have your beautiful as you are? I I know it, it's I have complicated emotions about stuff like this. The internet is just a little bit scary. Um, some not even like it's like a self conscious thing for me. It's like a, a comments from others, both not necessarily like bad ones, but just like comments about my body and appearance in general maybe kind of uncomfortable even if they're like not meant to be bad um and also women on the internet people can be creepy <laughs> so i i don't know i it's like i try not to even stand up on stream like i don't want you to see my legs like there's just always somebody like people in the twitch chat there's always somebody who's lurking here that's gonna say something creepy and like it's just not it's not for me, so I'll play Sims, and that's what people get out of me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway, um, it's kind of scary out there. Um, am I gonna bake for Christmas? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, let's bake a cake, and then we'll age up the toddler. We'll age up Moss, I think with you completely. Yeah, I don't know. I wish that I wasn't self-conscious about it, but unfortunately I am, so. Anyway. Okay. 
Okay. Come on, do you want to replace this? Thank you. That's so creepy and sad. Yeah, it's just, it's the internet, you know? People like, it's specifically on Twitch. I don't think I get a lot of that on YouTube, but also YouTube's <laughs> filters. I don't see it. I, I do not enter the like, there. so YouTube has like an auto mod as well in the comments. The difference is on Twitch, when things get auto modded, my Twitch chat highlights it red, Whoa. so I see it. In YouTube, when things get auto modded and like it sends it to a section of comments that are held for review, I don't even open it. <laughs> my mentality is, I don't need to see it. Even if like things get mistakenly held in there, it's probably fine. <laughs> like, I don't need to open. I learned my lesson a long time ago about the help for review section. <laughs> you don't need to open that. <laughs> if you ever post a YouTube video, don't open those parts of the comments. Especially if you don't get a lot of comments because then it will be worse. Like there, there won't be like any buffer. It's only bad ones in there. You know, so don't open it. That's my advice to you. You don't need to review them. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. The the two people who got mistakenly picked up, they'll be okay. <laughs> the rest of it, you don't need to see that. <laughs> it's not for you. There's no need for you to see that. <laughs> so yeah, I don't see stuff like that in my YouTube comments as much. I see it more on Twitch. So I don't know if it does happen on YouTube and I just don't see it or if it's more common on Twitch. In general, I think it's probably more common on Twitch. Um, Cause it's like easier to come across niche communities on Twitch than it is on YouTube. With, like people troll stuff faster on Twitch with stuff like that, I think, you know? Um, okay, let's age up little Moss. Unless, do I want to give you more skills? Maybe I'll try and give Moss a few more skills before I do this. Play inside a couple times, how about that? Seems good to me. How common are trolls on Twitch? <sighs> Very. It really depends on the category too. Um, like when I stream The Sims, people troll The Sims category, but not as often. If I was streaming into like just chatting or Minecraft or like maybe categories that are a little bit more popular and like widespread, you see a lot more troll content in there than you do in like the sim spaces because those kind of people aren't necessarily always seeking out the sims to go and troll to whereas like some of the bigger categories that have more people watching and more viewers they get more trolls just because there's you know more people know about it <laughs> um but you get it everywhere it really just depends sometimes it depends on the day you just never know what's gonna happen <laughs> I, some of my worst experiences on Twitch have been when I was streaming Minecraft though. I think like the, I don't play a lot of games that have a lot of communities that are bad. Like, I think that if I were to like stream Call of Duty or something like that, where it's like, oh, you know, I'm a woman playing Call of Duty. So I'm an easy target for a lot of these people. Like the, that game appeals more to that sort of person that's gonna troll. So I think if I stream to those sorts of categories, I would get more of it, um, but not as much here. Um, it just kind of depends. <laughs> but Minecraft was the worst I've ever gotten. So, and I don't think that's because they're Minecraft people that are doing it. It's just that Minecraft is a popular category on Twitch. So, lots of people there <laughs> that want to troll. <laughs> Same thing with Fall Guys. There's a bunch of weird people in the Fall Guys category. Not as much anymore, but it was back in the day when it was more popular. Just weird trolls in there. The internet is interesting. Sims isn't as bad though. There are people that like, there are like simmers that troll the Sims category and there's always strangers that troll everything, but it's just not as like widespread here. Okay. So you have level three. Maybe I will just age you up now. Yeah. Fortnite as well. Oh yeah, Fortnite would have a similar sort of situation. Age up sim. Oh no, wrong thing. <laughs> Candles help. Let's try this now. What's in the basement? Um. Why are you down there? Get out. I'll probably age up everybody, I think. While we're here. I have to do some needs cheats. I can't deal, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are there any games that you want to play that you wouldn't stream because of the community? No, I don't think so. I, 
I don't really care that much. Like, I, I've seen it, you know, I've seen it all, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I, I wouldn't, like, let the fear of trolls hold me back from a thing that I wanted to do. <laughs> You know, it, for the most part, it's more just like a fear that you guys would have to see it. But my auto mod is pretty decent, so it doesn't usually get through for you. You don't normally have to see it. Okay, pickle aged up. I like to randomize traits for them, so we'll do that. This one has to have dedicated traits though, because we have specific traits for not so berry. So for this generation, we can be a squeamish, geek, or cheerful as our first trait. I think I might pick squeamish though. <laughs> And then let's do the, um, mm, let's do mind and body. No, let's do creative genius. I'll probably end up doing both. <gasps> Green! Yes! <laughs> okay, okay. Um, would you like to age up this baby next? Oh, come here. Put the birthday candles back quick. And then we'll go into cast and fix everything up. Ready, candles help. Oh, no, no, no. Are you up there? Oh, you can do it then. Try that. Help blow out candles. Algae, okay. Squeamish, but the room is covered in moss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do makeovers in a second. I'm just, cause I'm gonna do it for all three of the kids. I may as well wait until we get them aged up first, huh? So I want to go into cast once. Oh, wrong sim. Okay, I guess you'll do it. It worked when I had to click on it. Decline job offer, I'm not switching jobs. I don't think anything's gross about moss. The idea of an actual moss covered room kind of makes me feel weird if it was real moss, but. No, you're fine, Cece, I promise. It, your English is fine. Everybody always says stuff like this, but I, you're, whenever people apologize for their English, it's not even bad. <laughs> I promise, you're never gonna get misunderstood as a troll. I promise. Um, you are totally fine. I think the fact that you worry about that says enough. Like, you're never gonna say anything that's gonna get misunderstood as a troll. The kind of trolls that we're talking about are like typing weird sexual things and like, harassing people <laughs> like you wouldn't you, not the kind of stuff that you could even pretend to do by accident like don't worry um you you would never find yourself in a position like that i promise okay my kids are all officially aged up and now we can go into cast and i can decorate them okay um I think, what a fine cast. Nice. I don't know, Sarah, I don't know if I'm feeling better to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure. To be honest with you, I thought that I was getting sick. Turns out, I think that actually, I'm just gonna start my period soon. <laughs> I've had a couple really bad, bad ones <laughs> recently. Um, but anyway, it's fine. I, I, without getting too far into this, <laughs> I started a new birth control pill a couple months ago. She's not working well for me, but it's only been a couple months, so I'm giving her some time. I got on birth control to make my periods less bad, started a new one, periods worse than they've ever been in my entire life. And I like get like violently ill, like flu-like symptoms of my period, so. Anyway, <laughs> we're sort of navigating some change at the time at this time, so um, <laughs> things are different and and not well, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, you should always get advice from your doctor, Kayla. Well, so seventeen-ish. That's what I did. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why we're starting a new pill. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not asking for advice from chat. I'm just updating you on my current life experience. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's unpleasant at the moment. Um, okay, I think, um, I don't know, which sim should I start with, Moss? Long story short, I'll tell you more about this. <laughs> they put me on a progesterone only pill, the like mini pill, um, because I was at risk for stroke. Fun, 
So that's why I had to switch. It was working fine. Turns out not fine. You have to switch. <laughs> so I'm on a new one. This one though, I take it nonstop, but my period still comes. There isn't like, there aren't like placebo pills or anything, um, but <laughs> my period still comes. And I don't know when it's gonna come, um, cause it's a new pill and not regular, regular yet. And it's just, anyway, so that's what I've been dealing with the past couple months. <laughs> not thriving. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's where I'm on right now. <sighs> so, at this point, probably not even worth still taking it, but I'm gonna give it some more time to figure out if it will help regulate it more. And if not, then there's no point, because I'm on it, it's regular my period. But if it's not working, then whatever. But it's only been a couple months, so I'm not asking for advice. I'm just, that's my life update. <laughs> that's my life update. All right, Moss, what do you want to do, buddy? Let's find some green clothes. I think, I don't really know what my vibes are with Moss, so we might be here for a while. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We shall see. Um, okay. Whoa, camo? No, it's not bright green enough. That would have been fun though. Oh, no, no, I don't like it, Never mind. I swear to you, I've never seen that swatch before. Some of these shirts I never use. The little base game t-shirt swatches. That's kind of cute. It's not green enough, but it is. This kind of has moss vibes. It has a lot of blue. It's not all green. Hmm. I do like the elephant as well. This is also cute. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I think I liked that one the best. Maybe they should have glasses because that gives us another opportunity for green. Oh, I don't like that shade of green. If I can't find a shade of green in the glasses that I like, then I won't use them. I know that's not really a good thing to use to determine if your Sim's gonna have glasses or not, but <laughs> that's my situation. If I can't find a green that I like with with their hair, then I won't do it. Mm, I don't like them. I don't like them. I think I like this shirt the best still. There's a lot of camo in this game. Do you think there's any green pants? Okay, that's a bit much. In like maybe a bad way. It's hard to say. That's not green enough. These are a lighter green, that might be okay. I think I like that. I think it's good together. You like the green pants too? Oh, did you like the other, did you like the darker green pants better? <gasps> Bowling shoes, shark shoes. Cat? Nope, imagined it again, sorry. <laughs> I saw a cat. There was no cat. It was all in my head. My brother did too, Eli. My brother had multiple phases in his life. When he was a toddler, he had a, a serious camo phase where like all he wanted was to wear camo. But like, we're talking like he's three years old. He also had a serious pirate phase where he, ha he had like a pirate Halloween costume and then he would not take it off. Like, like I'm only wearing this pirate Halloween costume for like a couple months. So my mom, he would like wear a pirate eye patch and like a pirate hat just around. Cause he wouldn't, he was like, I need it. <laughs> and my mom would try and like take it so she could wash it and he would get really upset. And it was like a whole thing. Cause he was like a pirate for a bit there. I think me and your brother are the same. <laughs> That's so funny. 
but he was like three. We have a lot of family photos from when that, it was only a couple months, I guess. It wasn't that long, but there's like some family photos from like going to see my grandparents at that time. And, and Brett has like a pirate eye patch on in the picture. He, my mom's like holding him, he's a little toddler and he's got like pirate accessories. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fun. Oh, I don't like those. All the socks are too tall. Those are cool. Wait, we should use these instead of the longer jeans because these have more sock visibility. Like you can't see the socks in some of these other ones as much. Right? Let me just try a couple options just to be sure that this is what I want. But. We could also wear shorts. Here's these jeans. Oh yeah, you can't even see the socks. No, boo, I wanna see the socks. It's all about the socks. We really could use some more sock options, huh? Okay, they can have that. What if they had some little green nail polish too? Okay. Mm. No, these aren't really green enough. I don't like them. Okay, that's one outfit. Let's do some more. Yeah, there's no socks that are like appropriate height. I've been struggling a lot with socks for my Sims for ages now. Maybe some glasses. Oh, we talked about that. We couldn't settle on a pair of glasses that I thought had an appropriate color theme. The colors were all wrong. So. <laughs> We decided we can't do glasses. Wait. I do like the bow tie. I don't know. Am I going to keep their haircut? Yeah, we only have a couple options that I have the CC of. This is the haircut that they had as a child or as a toddler, sorry. And I actually like this haircut a lot. So. I don't know. I'm not really obsessed with any of the green dresses either. I'm like not, it's not speaking to me. None of these greens, they're not working. I do, I did say I liked the bow tie. And this has like a darker green. That's horrendous. Do you think they could wear this? I don't know. If I seen the hair color slider overlay CC? Yeah, I made a video on it a while back. See, all of, it's just the shades of green. They're, oh, I like that skirt. Not for this outfit. I need to use this more because that looks kind of cool. We can't, we can't mix and match. It's not so berry. It has to be green. Like, like green. <laughs> It's very important to me. This is kind of a mossy green color, but it doesn't... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Um... Okay, maybe... shirt is nice but makes them look older, you think? We're probably not ever gonna wear this formal outfit. I don't know. Where's my green nail polish? This is an okay combo, right? I don't like... The green shoes are just not... They don't speak to me at all. I haven't liked a single one of the green shoes that I've seen. Even these don't come in green. What is wrong with this game? Severe lacking of green. Should I get a greener dress? No, I didn't like any of the dresses. The skirt matches the undershirt. It's kind of yellow, but it's okay. We probably won't end up wearing it anyway. Does this hat come in green? 
Oh, good start. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it for my athletic, but we can wear it for our cold weather outfit. Um, again, super overthinking this. I feel like something simple, you know? Yeah, there's not many green formal wear options. You almost like don't realize it until you go and start trying to use it. I want something that has more pattern to it. No, I don't like that. I like the hoodie better. A raccoon just asked your sim to join the painter career. Really? That's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting and unexpected. This is kind of a mossy color. I wonder if we could use that and then like a... Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is a very different vibe, everybody, from what we've been doing. But somehow, I almost kind of like it. <laughs> we have to use the camo at some point. Like, we have to do it at least once, right? So we may as well do it now. Okay. Hmm plain socks. I kind of like it though. Okay. Camo. Scarlet Amber. Marie, thank you for the subs. Oh my. I like the layered bottoms too. And it's just, it's just the athletic outfit. So like, you know, it, it's not that big of a deal. Let's wear this one. I know this is just plain base game stuff, but it's, it's kind of good. There's even green shark slippers. Like, come on. Green nail polish. Where's the... I want these. So we can wear some socks. Mismatched socks. Yeah? This is just cute. You just can't go wrong. Okay. Party wear. Um... Hmm... Nothing is really, like, the right shades of green. You know what? I know I just said it wasn't the right shades of green. This is what I want. That is, like, exactly what I want. <laughs> I like that color a lot. That feels very moss to me. Where's the other? We were using these before. Those, those match decently. I think that's cute, though. I like the little patch. Um, again, green shoes, not good. The green shoes are not good. We'll have to use these and then get some fun socks again. It has to be done. It's okay though, it still looks good. Yeah. I think it's nice. The difference between party and formal I don't play. Um. There, so the difference between party and formal, they're, they're just outfit classifications for parties, basically. Like uh, a bunch of the parties you can set like um, a dress code for it and same thing with the restaurants. And then Sims will wear that to the event or whatever. So like at a wedding, they'll wear the formal. At like a regular house party, they'll wear the party category. Um, but they're kind of similar. You can also sort of determine how, like, party is, I don't know, I kind of use party more like casual, but we're going out sort of vibes, and formal is like, I'm going to a formal event, an occasion, usually like prom or a wedding kind of situation. Um, but it doesn't matter that much. Most of the time, like, my Sims children don't end up wearing these outfits unless it's like a very special occasion. And oftentimes when that happens, I'll make like a new outfit for the prom or for the party or whatever. Um, so, okay, um, let's see, swimwear, I think that I want to wear for this, like, I don't know, the only green stuff in the swimwear category are those two things, that's ridiculous. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just some sort of thing that looks like it could be a swim shirt. I don't like that thing that scares me. Maybe just a plain shirt. <laughs> there's also like a, like there's like the full body wetsuits, right? Oh, these are probably better. They match a little bit better anyway. I don't really use this very often. That might be cute. It actually looks like they would wear it to swim, so. Can I use these again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can and I will. I don't know if we'll end up going swimming or not, but use party when your sims go out to the bar or nightclub. Yeah, that's what I'll do sometimes too, is I'll swap them into like a nicer outfit for that sort of thing. Um, I kind of have the same mentality with it. I want those shark shoes IRL, yeah. <laughs> I would like them in real life too. Oh, wait, quick. Color green. Sorry, that's all. Miv, hi, thank you for the raid, welcome in. I hope you had a good stream, Miv. We're uh, dressing up my Sim Moss. This is gonna be my legacy challenge air. They just became a child, so we're giving them some new outfits. We're, we're ready for the occasion. Look at the little bumblebee. Oh my God. No, we have to use that. No question. That's what needs to be done. Mm, yucky. Nothing is green enough. Should I use these like little lime green shorts? I don't like them. I would feel uncomfortable in shorts that short. I know I'm projecting onto a sim, but <laughs> I, I keep like, it's hard for me to, to separate it. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe, I think, I don't know. These are not, Maybe I'll just wear the jeans that we've been wearing for our other outfits. Cause I like these better. I think they're kind of cute. Streaming for like 30 hours with a span of four days makes your throat sore something's so had to take a break. Oh, that makes sense, Miv. <laughs> I was wondering why you were here. I wasn't gonna comment. I didn't wanna throw you off, but I was like, hmm. <laughs> you have to finish the 100 baby challenge. Oh God. Listen, Miv, we'll be thinking of you. Um, I'll tell you this much. I won't be watching. <laughs> I've already got enough 100 baby going on for myself, but... Oh, okay. Um... Let's see. I want to do... Cold weather. We wanted to use the hat. Because we liked how the hat looked. Oh, God. I still have to dress two more Sims, by the way, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while. Um, we were talking about, oh, this one is more mossy. We were talking about using this one, but oh no, I like the greener one better. Never mind. sorry. Actual evil challenge, what, not so berry? <laughs> I've never seen this floral swatch. That's nice. I don't think I want to wear it because I don't like the gold buckles, but I don't remember that one. Camo! Wait, why does that actually look kind of good? Huh. Okay. Maybe just some green boots. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but... <laughs> Moss wears two camo outfits. They have it for their athletic wear and also for their cold weather outfit. They have a wide range of, of styles and preferences and I like that about them. Okay. <laughs> I think that's Moss's outfits ready. <laughs> camo frog core, oh my God. Okay. Um, I think... Let's go and do the siblings outfits then. Shall we? Yeah. I think, I don't really know. I don't really care that much either. We have to just make sure that it's different enough from what Moss was wearing. There's a lot of camo in this game. <laughs> As we were just discussing. 
There's a wide range of options here. Okay, the babies can get away with like slightly less camo obsessive greenness than the air can. The air kind of has to be more green, generally speaking. Um, I'm still gonna be very green, don't get me wrong, but like, you know, we have a little bit more room here, I think, than we did with moss, so. Okay. Um, no, I'll leave that. This is the toddler, by the way. He's cute. <laughs> um, formal wear. Are there any green formal styled looks, really? I don't- I think, in general, there's not a lot of green formal wear. We had this problem before, as well. Like... It's just not- same- same issue we have with moss. Like, <laughs> what are you supposed to have them wear? Nothing works. Um, I like to just do this sometimes. Why does algae not get green hair? Um, because I don't have other CC installed. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, I don't have other CC. I only had a couple things of CC. I have a, just a couple options and we already used them. So I'm not gonna do it again. It's okay, we can have green hair when they get a little bit older. Um, it helps distinguish who the heir is this way too. So it's fine. Do I wear this little frog one? It is pouring outside. Oh my goodness. Okay. Party wear. Oh, I kind of like that. I don't, I don't know. We're never gonna have this toddler wear the party wear. So it doesn't really matter that much. I do like the dinosaur thing. Um, you go for a bit more simple. Wish it rained in California. Oh, right now, we're, we're getting a pretty uh, rough storm <laughs> here uh, in these parts. Um, they, they keep calling it, it's like a tropical storm, except it can't be a tropical storm because it's December. Not the right conditions for one, but it's basically similar. Um, so it's been, it's gonna be interesting tonight. Lots of talk about potential tornado conditions. Um, so we'll see. Um, we're going to get your storm, so thanks for that. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, my bad. Yet again, I'm apologizing for being from Florida. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it's fine, but we shall see. Oh, cute, it's green, okay. Yeah, it's been rainy and windy around here for days as well, um, but it's been raining a lot harder today, so. You had so much rain here, your basement got wet? Oh, yikes, that's scary. Well, I don't have a basement, <laughs> so. <laughs> I guess there's that. Okay, hot weather outfit. I like the overalls. Those aren't really as green as I want them to be. Do you wanna try one of the new shirts? I like this one. I don't know. There's not a lot of green I'm noticing for the toddlers. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe we could just do green and then have like a... Does any shirt have a slight bit of green that we could sort of draw on? Like that. I know this is a stretch, but something like this might be kind of fun. Why are basements not common in Florida? Our water table is too high and they would flood constantly. We live in a swamp. You can't really build a basement in a swamp. Like just doesn't work. <laughs> um, but we live in places where they have to build out like a lot of times in a lot of parts of Florida, not here, I live in central Florida, but they have to build houses up on stilts a lot of times around the coast and stuff because of hurricanes. So you definitely can't have a basement there. Um, but um, yeah, you, you can't really do it. It would flood. <laughs> so you could, but it would turn into a pool and nobody wants that in your basement. Yeah, it's a swamp, so <laughs> that's why. Um, I always use this, but it's so cute. This is what Moss had. 
when Moss was just a, a little one. Now they grew up. Maybe we'll do something different so I don't keep using the same stuff over and over again. Do we have a hat, perhaps, that is green? Maybe I'll use that. That's kind of cute. <laughs> I kind of like it. We learn a ton about Florida in my environmental studies classes at college. I feel so stressed for you guys. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well. <laughs> I live in an interesting place to say the least. Okay, you my friend, I guess I'll just give you similar hair to your siblings. Um, and then, oh, this is new! We didn't have this before! Okay, okay, I'm gonna give this Sim the, the new banana outfit from the new pack. I'm so excited. We can use a lot of the new infant stuff from the pack. The infants have some decent options here, it looks like. What are you supposed to wear with this? What well, doesn't matter, you're never gonna wear a formal outfit. You don't need to wear shoes either. That's fine. <laughs> I really like the little banana thing. That was so adorable. Do I wear a little pizza outfit too? It isn't even that green, but. The banana outfit is from the new for rent pack. <gasps> banana! No, look at how cute that is. I love the infant stuff in the new pack is so good. I'm using that for our hot weather outfit instead of our party. Cause we're never gonna wear the party outfit. So party wear doesn't matter. Mm. Well, we can wear more bananas. The baby's name is Pickle and they wear banana outfits. That kind of somehow works, you know? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense to have the toddlers wear like the same stuff that their siblings did and everything. That's realistic. Like in real life, you keep clothes and then use it again for the little ones again, but um, I feel like in The Sims, I'm so tempted to have them have different outfits from what their siblings had, just so that they can have some individuality. But in real life, you reuse clothes for babies, like, obviously, you know? A lot of people even have clothes like, like, my mom dressed me in some clothes that were her clothes when she was a baby. <laughs> you know, like, people keep this stuff for ages. <laughs> okay. Um, Pickle is officially uh, an infant in cast, so we can actually add pronouns. And then I think everybody is ready. Um, this is the family. We're not gonna have any more kids, so... I could probably put them on the gallery again for you, too. Sims clothes are free, so it's easier to have different clothing for everybody. <laughs> did that work or did it break? Uh-oh. Oh, I think we're fine. What about Pickle's pronouns? I thought Pickle had... Did I not set them? Oh, I did, they're he, him, sorry. <laughs> we had um, algae set already before too, and obviously Moss had theirs for a while. As soon as they become infants, I set them. Um, they used, they had them as babies. They were newborns, so we couldn't before. So we got them all already. Um, we should be all good. All good. Lasagna graveyard. Thank you for the 23 months. <laughs> Uh, and Lila, and Liz, and Alien, and Say No to Gnomes, and Daydream, and Angie, thank you for the subs, too. <laughs> Speaking of lasagna, that sounds kind of good. I'm gonna make Dan cook dinner tonight. Maybe I'll make him make lasagna. The only problem is it takes so long. But... <laughs> I'm gonna guilt him into making whatever I want, though. I'm gonna say, I just don't feel that good. You know? But it wouldn't be a lie. It'll be true. <laughs> but... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's save. I might also bake cookies. I was so smart last weekend. I baked cookies and I froze a bunch of extra cookie dough. So I have cookie dough and I can make cookies, fresh cookies, fresh baked cookies. Well, I do this a lot when I make cookies. I don't bake all of the dough because I prefer to, to like save it in the fridge and the freezer and then bake like the next day, like I'll bake it a, a new one. Like, so that way it's warm and, and gooey and brand new. 
<laughs> straight out of the oven. <laughs> so I was really smart and I saved a bunch of cookie dough. So I have a bunch of cookie dough. They're chocolate peanut butter cookies. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I like to do that. It makes it fun. All right, we can sell the baby bassinet now. Um, and then, oh, we have a bunch of space for photos. We should take some photos. Here, take a picture of this baby. You're in a good spot, because it's right there on the floor. The Roomba's gonna be in the background. Come on. Oh, see, that's actually pretty good. Should I make it horizontal? Maybe. Pre-made cookie dough got you through the pandemic. I, that's fun. I like to bake. I think baking is so fun. I don't always have as much time to bake as I would like, but oh look, we have a picture of the other baby too. This was Moss. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't always have as much time to bake as I would like to, but I really like to bake. You burnt the cookies you were making on Thanksgiving. Oh, listen. It happens. It's easy to do, especially on like a holiday with all kinds of stuff going on. Don't feel too bad. Last year I made stuffing and then I forgot about it. I put it, cause I, I baked, I made like all of Thanksgiving last year. Um, and I, I had put this, I took something out of the, the oven and I put it in the microwave just to like keep it. I like put a cover on it and then stuffed it in there just to keep it hot. Um, <laughs> cause the rest of the stuff was still finishing cooking. And then I didn't ever take it out. I never brought it to the table, so. <sighs> Fail, um, but that's okay. It's okay. It happens. When did you find it? I think I remembered like as we were putting everything away, I like saw it in there and I was like, oh my God, but I don't even like stuffing. So I wasn't that mad. <laughs> How long was it there? Oh, it was only there for like while, while we were eating. Some people still, like, you could still eat the leftovers of it. It just didn't get served with the meal. So that was, like, not ideal. People still ate it. Like, it was still around. Um, you know, it didn't go bad or anything. Um, you had marshmallows catch fire one year on the sweet potatoes. Oh, no. That is bad, huh? Okay. Teleport. I'm gonna bring you upstairs so you can go to bed. You don't have any movement skills, so I'm just gonna teleport you. I don't even feel bad. Go to sleep. All right, I'm gonna have you tummy time together. Uh oh, did you get any bad traits from your infantness? No, you got no traits. All right, it wasn't good or bad. <sighs> Sounds good. <laughs> this one uh, also had no traits, okay. So Moss, do you wanna start working on school projects? Stuffing is the best part of Thanksgiving. What do you mean? No, no, I don't agree. I don't agree. I've never liked stuffing that much. I I think the best part of Thanksgiving is the mashed potatoes. This marshmallow and sweet potato a thing. Yeah, okay, this is a, yeah. Listen, if you're not American, I don't wanna hear it. Don't be mean. I'm gonna show you, but you can't say anything bad, okay? When people make like a sweet potato casserole um, for Thanksgiving, they put marshmallows on it. Like that. This is like traditional Thanksgiving food. It's strange, yes. It's not dessert. You serve it with the meal. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> um, but this is what people do. Not everyone, I guess, some people don't. My family doesn't make this. I've had it before at like, you know, when you go to like your grandma's house kind of situation, but my family doesn't make this. Um, even as an American, I do not understand it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your white side does it, yeah. <laughs> you put brown sugar and pecans on yours. See, that's nice. 
That looks gross. Put marshmallows on half and leave half plain. There you go. Yeah, people make all kinds of um, sort of strange things um, for Thanksgiving uh, and other sorts of big special meals. Um, here's something called, my family doesn't make this, but this is quite common as well. This one is called Watergate salad. This is like Cool Whip, marshmallows, canned pineapple type of stuff. And they call it salad, but it's not salad. My girl makes a thing, like, a thing like this, but she uses mandarin oranges. So it's like a mandarin orange salad. Um, but it's got like whipped cream and, oh, it's just like this. This is what my grandma kind of makes. And she calls it salad and they put it on the table for like the meals. Everyone knows it's not salad, but they just, when you mix it, when you mix stuff together like this, they call it a salad. Very Midwest. Isn't that ambrosia? It maybe my grandma always calls it orange salad. Um, I'm not familiar with the term ambrosia for this name, but maybe some people call it that similar thing. Um, she just calls it orange salad. <laughs> um, and it's got like the, you know, canned oranges and stuff in it. Um, look up seven layer salad. Okay. Oh. I don't know which one you would make, Christine. Mm, I don't know about this. I actually don't know about any of, that, any of this, but I don't know about this. <laughs> right now I'm seeing a lot of things that I don't eat. <laughs> I won't eat tomatoes. I won't eat eggs. I don't eat sour cream or whatever that cream is. Never looks that fancy. This is a nice one. Okay, we need to get a less nice one. They all look fancy in the pictures. Mm -mm, no. It's colorful. It's cute. Anyway, this is more of an actual salad. <laughs> These things, not so much salad. <laughs> not so much. But an interesting combo. Yeah, welcome to America. You have to make half of it without peas, so that side is a six layer salad. <laughs> I love the like, the little things you have to do for people in your family that don't eat it. Why don't you eat tomato? I'll eat tomato in sauce. I can't, I, I <sighs> texture problem. Listen, you guys, I got all kinds of issues. There's, I will eat pretty much any vegetable or fruit except for raw tomatoes, like chunks of tomato, cut tomato, sliced tomato. I can't eat tomato raw. I can't do it. And I can't eat cooked broccoli. I'll eat raw broccoli, but those are the, I can't, I just can't. Um, so I don't eat them. <laughs> Even like if, if you got like a tomato sauce and there was chunks in it, I really can't do the chunks. I just can't. If it's smooth, I can. Chunks, I can't. I'll, I won't, I'll eat around the chunks. So. Anyway, I eat tomato sauce, I'll cook with tomatoes. I just, mm. Mm. <laughs> you know, what's wrong with cooked broccoli? I don't know. That's a really unpopular food opinion that I have. A lot of people have the opposite opinion where they'll eat cooked broccoli, but not raw broccoli. But I just, something about cooked broccoli I can't do. I don't know. But I love raw broccoli, I just eat it. You hate olives? Okay, I love olives. I know, unpopular uh, chaotic food opinion, but olives are like my pizza topping of choice. So, <laughs> most of my pickiness is animal products, if I'm being honest. I've never eaten eggs. I don't eat eggs, like like scrambled eggs I probably ever had like twice in my life. Like I can't eat them, you know, stuff like that. So, <laughs> olives are good on pizza. Here, this is, listen, hear me out on this, okay? This is gonna sound really weird and it's not a fact, it's just a feeling. But I think that olives are an interesting, slight 
alternative to pepperoni on pizza with like the saltiness of it. Obviously it's not crispy in the same way, but I don't eat meat, I haven't eaten meat in years. But I think that olives fill a similar void that doesn't have the crispiness, but it has the saltiness and like that helps. So, I don't know. But I like olives on pizza, I always have, even when I still ate meat when I was younger, but. Matt tells you you should like olives because you like pickles and I don't see it. <laughs> That's funny. That reminds me, so um, one of my Twitch mods, Jess, who you might see in chat sometimes, not that often because Jess lives in Korea, uh, but Jess has been teaching in Korea for years now uh, and just came back to the US for Christmas for the first time in years. Like it's been many, many, many years since they've been home. Um, and I was asking like, what are you excited? Like, what's the weird thing you're excited about having when you get back? And Jess's answer was pickles <laughs> because apparently the pickles in Korea don't fill the void. And they're like too sweet. There's not like some good salty dill pickles. <laughs> so Jess was really excited to have pickles when they got home to America. <laughs> I think that's kind of fun. Uh, but like last night, just flew in yesterday. So pretty exciting stuff. You can like gossip. That's fine. Gossip is good. Okay, do you want to cook a little bit more? Yeah, I'll eat Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. Some roasted Brussels sprouts are pretty good. We made Brussels sprouts for Thanksgiving. That was on the list. Your ex's brother lived in China for some time and he was craving pickles when he visited the US again. Really interesting how pickles are a common craving. I didn't realize that. I was telling Jess about how Dan's thing, when, when Dan goes home to the UK, the thing that he wants. <laughs> he, American chocolate, he hates. So it's like chocolate is a thing, that's very common. But also UK Domino's. He misses UK Domino's a lot. Like American Domino's doesn't hit the same. It's very different. He, he misses UK Domino's <laughs> specifically. <laughs> so <laughs> what's the difference? I'll, it's a completely different kind of pizza. It's like a whole different kind of restaurant. Also in the UK, so in the US Domino's is like, um, it's like cheaper tier of fast food pizza, especially when they have deals on. Like you can get a medium pizza if you buy two for $7 each, which is pretty cheap. Um, and then you go to the UK and it's like $20. <laughs> um, so it's like a different sort of restaurant. They're also charging you more because it's American, I think maybe a little bit, but um, the, the vibes of it and like the kind of pizza that it is, it's very different. If you're in America, you're like, what the heck, but it's expensive there, like actually expensive there. So different. Yeah, Domino's is like cheap college kid pizza kind of here, which isn't a bad thing. People like it, but it's just really different. Like the kind of niche that it fills is different. So find the Domino's pizza sauce spicy here. Maybe. Does it feel higher quality in the UK? I think so. I don't know. Expensive in Australia too, is it? Interesting. Yeah, it's different. Like, you know how Domino's here, they have like that, the like garlic butter seasoning stuff that they put on the crust. They don't put that on there in the UK. They don't have that. Like it's just, it tastes completely different. Um, so it's just like a totally different restaurant. Their whole formula is different. So anyway, it's just interesting. The garlic butter is, it's a good part, but no, they don't have it. You have stuffed crust though? Oh, we have stuffed crust at pizza places here. I wouldn't call it high quality. No, no, it's not. But it's higher quality than our Domino's is. So, just a little bit different. <laughs> We're paying more and no garlic butter? <laughs> it's ridiculous, can you believe it? You have garlic dip? Yeah. It's different. Let me see if I can show you guys a picture of what, for the, this is, um, I'll show you the American Domino's. And then I'll sh we'll show you pictures of the UK Domino's too. Oh, this one feels right. This looks um, adequately greasy. Why do I feel like you can't see the garlic butter on the crust? Whatever. This they claim is US Domino's. 
I don't know, though. Here we go. All right, UK Domino's Pizza. Can you see that? Yeah. Images. Okay, you're not really selling it to me here right now. It's hard to explain. When you look at pictures, you just can't really tell. <laughs> you just take my word for it. <laughs> just take my word for it, okay? Trust me. Just trust me. It's different. It's not really... Anyway. This is not good. It's not helping the fact that I feel kind of hungry right now. <laughs> oh, okay, did you finish cooking another thing? You need to max the gourmet cooking skills, so you have to go again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Better not squash soup again. You had Giordano's for dinner? Nice. My parents don't like Giordano's. Cause, so they're from Chicago. And there's like two big Chicago pizza chains, Giordano's and Lou Malnati's. And my parents are strong Lou's fans. Always have been. Um, there is a Giordano's here in Orlando. It's on iDrive if you're, if you're local. <laughs> uh, but my parents are big Lou's fans. So your parents are right. Thank you. I agree. You think deep dish is gross? Really? I was born in Chicago and my dad was born and raised in Chicago, so I feel like I can't say that. It might offend someone. <laughs> okay, um... Kid- Oh, are you getting sick? I should buy you some medicine. Let's try. From Chicago, prefer thin crust? I kind of prefer thin crust pizza too. If I'm being honest. Um, purchase medicine. Here you go, kid. A child going online and buying medicine is kind of... I don't know. <laughs> Something about that feels like maybe it shouldn't be happening, but... Oh well. Oh, here, you can use the bathroom first, too. That's a bit strange. You hate stuffed crust? Yeah, we don't ever- I don't know if I've had stuffed crust in like, years. I don't know if I have- I don't think I would like it either. I don't really have opinions about that. Okay. This kid is just laying there. Do you want to look at your toys more? Keep it up. Okay, kid, you go to sleep too. We'll send everybody to bed, why not? Why not? The thing with stuffed crust is that the crust is okay, but the actual pizza is really bad. Oh, interesting. I could see that. I could see that. Oh no, Jay, I know it's hard to get like the, the gluten-free crust to fill that same void. And also gluten-free pizza is expensive. They make the crust, like, it'll be like a tiny little pizza. Million dollars. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is horrible. They do make it very expensive. Okay. Everyone sleep. Save the game. Was there a kill button on the horse? Oh god. <laughs> Don't click that. My full falcon, Maria, thank you for the subs. I'm sorry we're talking about food so much. This is terrible. <laughs> Everybody's like hungry now. <laughs> this is a disaster. At least it's dinner time for me, but some of you might not be. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, game saved. When? What day is it? Do you have work tomorrow? No. Oh, if we're going so slow because I spent so long in cast. Christine, delete that. Guys, guys, don't click that link from, from Mrs. Tomato in the chat. Mrs. Tomato is a bot. That's a scary bot who's spamming dangerous links. Don't click it. Don't click it. <laughs> don't trust that link, okay? <laughs> oh, the baby is hungry. Okay, I feed you. 
my bad. Um, baby care feed. Okay. The folder saves the day again. <laughs> Come on. Oh, why are you sad? Who died? Probably like everybody you know, because you're an elder. I'm not sure who it is. It could be anyone. Huh, I don't care. All your infants have white eyes. It's creeping you out. Okay, question. Do you potentially have an outdated default eye replacement? Like a mod that's not updated for the infant update? Or maybe just is broken? If, you ha if you're using an eye replacement, see if that's the problem. Because a lot of people had that when the infant update first came out, all their infants had bright red eyes. Scary, but it was it's the default eye replacement's broken. So it might be that. It also might not be that, I don't know. Just an idea. <laughs> just throwing out an idea just in case we can help, but it might not be. Okay. Um, maybe you could put the baby to bed after this too. So it actually tries to sleep. We shall see. How long until you die? Okay, we have time. I'm gonna check real quick. Seven days, that's fine. We can handle that. We can handle that. Um, all right. Um, oh, we have to vacuum as well. Let me see, maybe, who has the vacuum? Was it you? No, I think you have it. Yeah. I'm gonna come vacuum this room. <laughs> I know that my sims are asleep in there, but <laughs> I'm gonna come vacuum. I don't know why the horse is sad, I'll fix it. Hold on. Oh, you're very sad. It's okay, I'll, maybe they're sad because its owner is sad. When does the horse die? I don't know. My guess is probably soon, unfortunately. But we'll see. After you vacuum, do you want to come stand here and then call the horse over? It might not work. We'll see. Can I just pretend you slept all the way through the night? Because I think that I should be allowed to cheat needs sometimes. Personally. That's how I feel. <laughs> Um, do you want to clean these too? Also, after this, do you want to go practice telling some jokes? Okay. Uh-oh, sorry everybody. Probably made you yawn just then. What's wrong with the horse? Oh, are you stuck? The horses are like so bugged. Come on. Let me ride the horse back in. Maybe I'll practice riding the horse a little bit. Just for fun. Here we go. Practice barrels. <laughs> Why not? I shall bring you inside. Keep it up. You're so loud with your joke telling. I'm gonna zoom far away. Okay. Well, now we just wait. All the ghosts are in here. They got bags on their heads. It's very strange stuff. Oh well. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Kim, thank you for the 20 month resub, by the way. Horse ride at level five. It's not even that good. Do you think you'll play City Skylines next week? Actually, I'm thinking about playing City Skylines tomorrow. <laughs> I may or may not stream tomorrow. It depends. I don't normally stream on Sunday, so the answer is probably no. But they had that update and they added new maps. And um, my favorite YouTuber, City Planner Play, says the maps are good for beginners. So to me, that means I should make a new city on one of them. <laughs> so I might play a little bit tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Um, that's kind of uh, the concept though. We'll see. Ooh, you need to give the horse, or give the baby a bath. <laughs> I, almost, I almost called the baby a horse. You're not a horse. So instead of baking, well, so this is the thing. I was never going to do a baking stream. Then I thought, maybe I will. And then I said, no, 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 I won't, I won't. 
It was a very short-lived idea. The problem is I've been feeling extremely unwell and the thought of trying to set up all the baking stream and then also do an hours, many hours long baking stream tomorrow doesn't seem like it's the vibe. So I would like to do that. Unfortunately, I don't feel great and haven't been for a couple days. So yeah, I didn't ever announce that I was gonna do a baking stream. I just edited the stream schedule and then quietly unedited it. It was only there for a couple days. <laughs> It was an idea in theory, but it's not gonna work out in practice. <laughs> I will do one probably next weekend though. So that's the idea. I was thinking about doing two was the situation, but it was not, it wasn't a good idea. It was a poor choice. Did I just get comedy level 10? Oh, that's huge. I needed to max the comedy skill. I did. That's what princess needed to do for her, um, her not so berry rolls. So that worked out quite well. Let's keep cooking another gourmet meal. Um, I think it's cheesecake. I don't know. I don't know. Do you stream on Christmas? I won't be able to stream on Christmas Day. I will stream on Christmas Eve probably in the morning, just for a little bit. But I won't be able to stream on Christmas Day. Um, I will be busy with my yeah. family, so. <laughs> Is the music randomly changing pitch? Um. It doesn't sound like that to me. Is it maybe just that the song sounds like that? Or maybe it is glitchy on your end because I don't hear it doing that. I'm not sure. Hey Tech, thanks for the color, for the, <laughs> I almost said for the color. That's <laughs> what your username is like that, sorry. Thank you for the raid, welcome in. We're playing a little bit of uh, the Not So Berry Challenge at the moment. Um, we're on the peach generation, it's the eighth generation. Um, this is my sim. They have three kids. We're quite stressed out by it, actually. <laughs> if I'm being honest, we've been going through a lot recently. <laughs> Don't mind me, I did just teleport my Sims baby, but it's only because it doesn't have a high enough movement skill to move on its own. What, are you stuck still? Okay, I try again. Teleport here, grab a serving. Come here, kid. Okay. Go there, and then after this, I'll probably have you work on the slide. Get some movement skill. You're making your first shell challenge. Oh, that's so fun. You are, sorry, you're touring ones for your first shell challenge. I really, really enjoy doing shell challenge tours. Aren't they so fun? I'm really glad. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, everybody's eating cheesecake. Oh, you're sick again. Let me try and buy some of those as well. More choices, Oh. Order, purchase medicine. Okay. You take the medicine and then come vacuum. There's a dust bunny! Sorry, buddy. I will be vacuuming, vacuuming you up. Okay. Moss, my friend, you go to school, you study hard. You work hard, let's try and get promoted. All right, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. What other skills do we need? for this part of the challenge. Play an instrument, gourmet cooking and comedy skills. Yeah, we just have to play an instrument. We don't have to max any instrument skills, but maybe I'll play some more piano today just to work on it. Okay. We'll start that. Dan is singing again. I'm not surprised by that in the slightest. <laughs> that sounds about right to me, yeah. He does, he does like to sing on stream, so. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was gonna have you come work on this. Can you get down the stairs over here or no? You can, all right. Come on. What's wrong with you? Okay, you use the bathroom. Luck for inspiration, I don't know. Catnap, thanks for the resub. Thank you so much. How do you put ceiling lights above stairs? Oh, that's a good question. Okay, so if you're having trouble with that, I'll show you the example. Like in this case where, well, I'll turn them on quick. 7,000 simoleons in bills, yeesh. Um, but like in this case, how there's a, like a staircase here, you know when you try and place them and it goes down 
and it's super annoying because it tries to slot to the downstairs. Make sure you're upstairs, turn the grid on, and then it'll place up here. Um, so if you're struggling to put the, the light above the stairs, make sure the grid's on and then you'll be able to place it. Um, you might have some trouble with it when the grid is not on. It might like try and go down or whatever, but just make sure the grid's on and it'll work. Kind of annoying, but that's how it works. <laughs> okay, would you like to come pay the bills then quick? We have a lot of bills to pay. Lots and lots of bills. Yeah, it is kind of weird, but I guess it makes sense. And it's nice because that way, it, it's a surefire way so that you're able to place the light on whatever level you want. Um, but it's kind of confusing. Because you might want it on a certain level. You know, maybe you want it to be on the first floor. Floating. <laughs> maybe you don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anything planned for two million subs? No, I don't. We're not that close. Um, it, let me check how much. I don't keep that close of track of it. 1.94 million. We still have a ways to go until 2 million. Um, I don't have any ideas yet. I need to start thinking about it, probably. But we have some time. Still like 60,000 off, which is a lot, so. <laughs> um, but that's a, I, I honestly hadn't even considered that I should start planning an idea until you just said that, so maybe I should. <laughs> That's kind of weird, isn't it? The thought of that. <laughs> okay. Um, did you pay the bills? Yeah. Okay, good. Very, very good. You're working on piano. Cool, my also unlocked. Cute. Can you put me over? Oh, no, you have to feed me. Yikes. Taking care of infants is horrible. I can't wait till it ages up. And yeah, Barbie is an elder. Barbie's gonna die in seven days, we checked. Saying that out loud sounds really bad. <laughs> but this sim is an elder. I dyed her hair back to pink because she's always had pink hair and I think she would keep it pink, but um, she's gonna die in seven days in game. I know because I have a mod check. <laughs> Two million simoleon builds. Oh my God, could you imagine? That would be such, I mean, if you did like an apartment, it would be possible because you could have like, like a 64 by 64 lot apartment complex. We, I mean, that's a fun idea. We could try and do that. It, it does sound so threatening. She's going to die in seven days. <laughs> Whoa. Yikes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me sell this bottle again. That helps pay for our bills, doesn't it? And then I may get off stream here in a few minutes-ish. I usually stream for about three hours. So I guess um, the plan is that maybe tomorrow I will be here um, for a little bit. I might play a little bit of City Skylines in the morning tomorrow. Um, that might be kind of fun. So maybe I will. I don't usually stream on Sundays, but maybe I will see you tomorrow. And then we can open the advent calendar tomorrow. So that'll be good. When I stream in the morning, I usually stream at 9 a.m. Eastern time, which is 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the UK, if that helps you time zone wise. It's currently 7 p.m. my time, Eastern time. Um, but I think I might head out in a few minutes. We made some good progress today. We had another baby. We aged all the kids up. <laughs> um, we've been doing all right. So I think I will maybe see some of you tomorrow in the morning. Happy Friday. Um, I'll let you know in the Discord if I do end up streaming. I think I will definitely do that though. I think I'm committed. So <laughs> I think we shall do that. Um, I'm gonna go make dinner though, or well, I'm gonna try and get Dan to come make dinner with me. I want him to do it, but I'll help. <laughs> it's his turn, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, have a great rest of your night. Let me go find someone to rage. <laughs> Did I say Friday? Oh, it's Saturday. Did I say it's the wrong day? I know what day it is. I think I know what day it is. Did I say that? Sometimes I say things on stream where I'm like, I actually don't remember saying that. And then people in chat are like, what are you talking about? And I like, don't remember. Anyway, I might've said Friday. It's not, it's Saturday, <laughs> but that's okay. Neat, thanks for the dead months. Okay, I think it might be fun to go over and raid. How about this? My friend Brew, um, you all know Brew, Bruin. Brew is live. Um, and, and playing the decades challenge, but like a gay version of the decades challenge. And you're gonna love it if you haven't seen it. It's so fun. <laughs> so um, let's go over and say hello. Um, 
and and we'll, we'll hang out for a little bit, I think. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your night, chat. Um, and I'll catch you all tomorrow, all right? Thank you, I miss you, I love you. Go say hi to Brew, and um, bye. <laughs> Wait, where's the button? Okay, there we go. Bye, everybody, I'll see you later, bye. And stop streaming.